Welcome to the another Play by Play commentary with the hockey coach guru, Coach Francis Rickley for the beautiful country of Thailand on the Saturday night, January 7, 2023. Tonight at the Bell Center, Montreal Canadian owes the St. Louis Blues with many injuries. This is the time possible, Montreal. I predict a W for the Montreal Canadian 3 2 and over time. And uh, because St. Louis have many injuries, five defensemen out of the lineup tonight uh, with the uh, channel uh, Nick Lady. So uh, it's going to be really hard for the St. Louis Blues uh, uh, to perform again in Montreal. And this is the time for Montreal to step up and stop the slum they are right now. Their big straight of six loss, I believe. Uh, they are 1 8 and 1, the last 10 game, by the way. So that's what's happening tonight. We'll be interested seeing how they're going to respond. Yeah, it's a little bit a new format uh, presentation of the game tonight here. Uh, we try to modify to give us a little bit more, uh, less information, not less information, but a little bit more information about everything. So you can see a little bit, uh, line at the top uh, on my left side over there, right here, top, right there. <laughs> you can see all the information. You have the game note uh, for the Montreal Canadiens. Jake Allen uh, is going to be between the pipe for the Montreal Canadiens. Of course, the same lineup from what Martin said. We said uh, during the press conference uh, this morning uh, is going to be Byron and uh, Hoffman are oh, held to scratch. Uh, Sakoski still play with Jake Evans and uh, Josh Anderson. Uh, Jonathan will play with Richard uh, Pesada at the bottom of this uh, Four line. We have a few people knock the door, so we're not to welcome everybody here. And then we can move on with what, what's going on around. Uh, first of all, Dan Ashram, directly for Winnipeg, is back in the house. <laughs> welcome back, Dan and Colette. Uh, Mr. Rick Bengal, directly from Halifax, reporter, live stream of the Hockey Nation Show. <laughs> welcome back, Rick. <laughs> And that's what we've been about this. Uh, he said Owen Beck. Yeah, Owen Beck got trade uh, for the Mississauga to the uh, St. Pe uh, well, Peter Borough. And then you have Raleigh Kidney, another uh, ad prospect, was trade for Acadie uh, Badgers uh, to go to the get to know. Uh, they are the two prospects. My, my, you, you talk about Shane Wright. For me, it would be Philip Mazar. Uh, what are you going to do with Philip Mazar? So uh, it would be interesting about this. Uh, Montreal, Buffalo, and Boston for real deal. Okay, uh, deal, a real deal is in the house. Welcome back. Good evening, Mr. L. Anson is in the house. Welcome in the house, Mr. L. Thanks to be with the Hockey Nation Live Show tonight. Our friend, Ryan Kirk. Uh, I'm eating to the Tulsa Oilers game. Wish me luck. Have a good night, uh, Mr. Ryan Kirk. Enjoy over there. The Tulsa Oilers game. Now they play in the... Professional with uh, Columbia. Uh, this, this, I have a lot of great story with the Tulsa. I've been there. I, I scout over there. It's a really nice area downtown in Tulsa. Uh, Luc Beausoleil playing the QM, play uh, many years for the Tulsa Oilers. Uh, if I can, I think it's Luc Beausoleil, his last name. Honey, um, and it, they have a really big, a really big uh, rivalry between uh, Tulsa. You have the Columbia and Georgia. Then you have the Macon. Uh, if you remember, like a long time ago, the, he was coach in the QM and the GM. John Paris, uh, uh, a black man, uh, one of the first few black men coaching in the Quebec. And, and um, he was, uh, when I left for 96, uh, he left uh, that maybe one year before me. And he was in the East Coast Hockey League. He went after that on the that league. It's now it's called the SPHL, I believe. Uh, South Professional Hockey League. Here we go. I got it. And uh, Ronick is still in that league. I'm not sure. We'll have to figure out this. But uh, Knoxville Ice Bear is on the team over there. That reminds me a lot of great story, right? And uh, this was at the beginning of 2000. Uh, when I was traveling a lot. So, Rick, uh, Rand, have a great night over there. Enjoy that beautiful place. Uh, Luciano Moderator is back in the house. From Taiwan. Uh, good morning, Jeffrey Kuri. Welcome back in the house. And then we have uh, Audrey Calabro knock the door, of course, with all the updates uh, with many game and uh, action tonight. First of all, um, Columbus Blue Jackets surprised the Hurricane uh, won and over in a shootout uh, by the score 4-3. to three. 
a great uh, W for them. And then we have uh, Joseph Laham. I'm sure he would be happy because uh, the Devils uh, come back after the deficit of 2 0 to 1 and over time, but a score for 3. Uh, I think so too. So uh, we'll see what happening uh, a little bit later. So in the other game in the initial, 8 1 is in the house. Welcome back, 8 1. There we go. RG put uh, all the information on the board already. See, RG is already in front of me all the time. A great job. What about the co hosts of the warm up show Monday to Friday at 6 o'clock p.m. until 7, sometimes 7 05, 7 10. Depends on how many times he talks too much. Uh, Mr. Enotap, <laughs> welcome back. Enotap! Talking about uh, Enotap co hosts, uh, we want to remind you. Uh, Tomorrow morning at 11 o'clock Eastern Time, we are back now with the Ab Daily, uh, Ab Branch uh, Daily News, uh, Daily News, <laughs> oh my God, Ab Branch, uh, your Sunday rendezvous, 11 o'clock Eastern Time, and Karen Haynes, she's back uh, healthy now in 2023, and she's going to be our uh, invite, our guest uh, with our co-host, Marco Larabi. Uh, it's a recording tape, but it's premiere, so you, we have a chat, and we can talk uh, during the one hour and, of course, add the news that produce every single day. And I'm going to make another video. It's called uh, What We Learned at the 2023 Junior World Junior Championship. The, the, the recording is done. I just need to edit, and then I would be ready to get there. And then my first uh, trade deadline, Mark 1.0, my top 25 is going to be live. This is going to be on, uh, up uh, this week, I think, Tuesday. And don't forget my ad prospect, uh, Montreal Canadian Monday at the Ad Daily News. Uh, Oh my God, a lot of things to talk about. What about the man of the man? Uh, Joseph Laham is in the house. Welcome back. Our supporter of the Hockey Nation Show. Always a pleasure to open the door to Zep Lacav. Welcome back. William McClary. Welcome back in the house, William. Big friends of Montreal Canadiens, but a big friends of the Hockey Nation Show. Our friend, Chicago Bear friend, 97, Nick, is in the house. Welcome back uh, to the house tonight. Uh, um, and I thought took a Chicago, uh, took a Chicago yesterday, uh, Mr. Nick. Uh, um, yeah, I did not do it, unfortunately, for me. Uh, but it is what it is. Uh, hi, Apps fan in the house. Awesome. Don't tell to your mom, uh, as fan, but try to beat your mom on the scramble. Uh, use the words uh, magnifique. Or <laughs> magnifique. Here we go. <laughs> Greatness. It would be better to do uh, that one over there. Uh, Luciano said, I took the ox last night conversation. I did not. Uh, I never talk. Uh, uh, talk. I never take uh, Chicago normally. I should, but I did not. I did a mistake uh, yesterday. It's okay. It's okay. No big deal. It's okay. Uh, Rana from British Columbia. How do you feel real? It can they go deep and do the playoff culture. Um, they are real. They're going to fight for the spot until to the end of the year. Uh, but now to go deep in the playoff, I don't see this at the first year. Uh, they're going to compete with a big team like the Rangers. First round, round. it could be Washington. Um or they could be a finish four, but uh, I think they will be, but long, long, no. It'd be a good experience for the young men like uh, Urshire and to like uh, Jack Yo, Sharkovic, you know those prospects over there, but uh, not this year, Rana, but uh, we made a scene. Don't forget, guys, click on the like. Jeffy Korn is in the house. Don't forget, guys, click on the like. Another straight live streaming for 100. Uh, Mr. King of Gamer knocked the door. Welcome back. Uh, what are you thought on the Vincent Rover for the 10? Uh, sorry, maybe not score, but it's play in general. A uh, pretty good overall for Vincent Rover. Unfortunately, Australia have what two goals or four goals during the tournament. Uh, you, you know, get beat 11 0, 9 0. You tell that he could not demonstrate a lot. He have a great year with the Ottawa 67 and OHL. Uh, it's a player on the, it would be take a little bit longer. Uh, remind me a lot, Anthony Richard. Uh, speed wise, same size. Um, you know, shifty, a good hands. Um, like it's another one. Like he have a long path, like Marco Rossi. Rossi got the first round pick, by the way. Uh, I think it was number nine, if I can recall it. On the flip side, for uh, Rover came in the OHL last season for his first year. This is this year, his second year. 
over there. I will not be, he will go to return to Austria next season. Uh, but uh, again, good experience for him. He's going to be now in the OHL. Will be what he look like. But he have a good year. Uh, maybe my top ten ad prospect right now. Uh, now I think Joshua Roy a little bit in front of him. Uh, I would said um, Sean Farrell is in front of him as a forward. And I can go to win next time, my king. But a uh, great question. Don't forget to come back tomorrow for the ad Browns Year Sunday rendezvous. That'd be awesome. And on top, uh, share the hand. Uh, share his hands uh, to everybody. Uh, then Rodin, you know, tap, uh, then Luciano, Gary, Cornwallier, the road runner, back in the house, uh, uh, Gary, welcome aboard, uh, hopefully you're doing well, thanks to stop by, don't forget to click on the like, that'd be awesome, and then we have, um, uh, let's try to get, uh, and on tap, see, got Phil Ski, I just sent the blur on the rebuild, especially with the battle in the lineup, uh, and it's a remote to Gary, pick up again, uh, about this one, Roger Delaney, our best friend Roger is in the house. Welcome aboard. From Utah, welcome back. Another moderator, Run With Kings at 20. Thank you to be with us. Uh, Wolf is a good start, but again, a six foot goaltender. Gave a lot of good prospect and return. I will not touch uh, uh, any goaltender at six foot uh, uh, about that one there. And uh, Calgary are not interested to trade that Wolf. Uh, and uh, that will cost them, uh, I'll put them team uh, too much. Uh, uh, Adam Berger is in the house from Vegas. Welcome back, Mr. Adam uh, from Great Valley High School. Assistant, assistant principal, coach uh, high school. Team captain and coach of the Great Valley. He does. He love, uh, wear a lot of hat and the, and the Great Valley High School in Nevada. Thanks you to stop by. To say hi. I appreciate a lot. They're very busy. You've been with us guys for over three years. It's been a great uh, support of the Hockey Nation. I show. Glad to have you aboard. I think about going to see that because this is the king tonight. Uh, that'd be great, Adam. Uh, you know, pushing to number one in the Atlantic at uh, the Pacific Division. Uh, if I have a game, I would like to see how the, how be the Kings versus Vegas. Uh, they know now they're going to miss uh, Sean Theodore. Marcina is back in the lineup. Again, and many injuries. Talking about the Vegas, uh, Bat Max uh, Pacioretty scored two goals today for Hurricane. Uh, during a second goal, uh, a second game in NHL. Uh, on the bottom, five son at the winning game. You never know if you are Montreal. Uh, Ron, uh, do you think we see uh, Peterson come back up or is completely play well to bring him back up? Uh, the only way he can come back right now, Peterson, if beat one couple is have a difficult time, unfortunately. Uh, if not, they will let them down and wait for the next time when you have an opportunity. Coach Montreal currently has a 20% chance to winning the NHL draft. This is the third best odds in the NHL. If you combine both, yes, but it's not really sick at the end of the day. Because when you go to the the Panthers pick, he has X percent, and when Montreal is the pick, it X percent. It's yes if you combine, but in reality, it's not work that way. You don't have an extra ball, an extra ball in the in the basket. It's the same ball like Montreal, so it's really different. It's fun to see that there. Ari, it just pop up. Ari, welcome. And Montreal again. Here, go start the game, guys. Here we go. Bonne période, mes amis! Merci d'être avec la Hockey Nation Live Show. The Montreal don't play pipe behind the goaltender. Jordan Bennington is between the pipe. Berenko is on the, on the defenseman. Well, keep the puck. Shines coming on the left side of Allen. Turn around and find the net. Shoot the puck from the D. Miss the net. But the puck bouncing back behind the net. Shoot the puck for Shane. And the intercept right now. Pazuski. Now going back at the right side. Kova service. Right back at the puck. Back to Pazuski at the blue line. At the red line. Don't pin the puck now. Ben Goaltender chasing behind. A recovery by uh, Mikola. Recovery the uh, recovery part. Bring the part to the board. But all that uh, recovery part could be dark. I bring the part to the blind. Holding the other part. Uh, Iris bring the part to cover. So that should the part between skating. Miss the net rebound by 
Uh, Harris tried to get a pass, no chance, recovery now. Paris Saint with Blue lobbed the point into the zone, park outside the zone, in front of the bench, talking about Troy can then recovery by Joel Armia. Lose the puck after he make a bad move by going to recovery and find a way to find the puck to Joel and Manson. And Manson now skating with a puck pass to Saval. Saval lobbed the puck behind the goaltender, uh, Bennington, the puck bouncing back all the way back to opposite corner. Don't pin Palestine with Blues, a recovery, Palestine Blues coming now in the French season. Don't pin Palestine behind the goaltender, uh, Allen. Saval recovery, Palestine departed Manson to the corner, and Manson play again his ex team, the French Blues, like uh, Jake Allen, by the way. So both of them play. If Mike Alvin was played tonight, it would be three ex uh, St. Louis Blues. Uh, Honeyhaw, Matoua Tekina, hold the puck for Saval, shoot the puck, Bennington make a rebound, make the uh, miss up by Army, I'll go back behind the goaltender, St. Louis Blues. Uh, but on now, try to use the board, pass the puck to the board, recovery now by Herbert Thomas, Thomas attacking now. Thomas left the puck in the corner, recovery, first one to recover the puck in front of the Jackai. And now finally, puck bouncing by the left side. Now, uh, uh, Baltuzo uh, bring the puck in front of the net, puck bouncing back, all the way back outside the zone, going to be recovery by the defenseman of the center of the boat, Santini. He's going to be, uh, don't, don't be the puck behind the goaltender, Jake Allen, intercept the puck, pass the puck to the D, 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 D. set up now by Jackai, back to Whiteman. White men went out, go turn around, pressure went out by St. Louis Blue, down the puck outside the zone by Sarkowski, pass the puck to the side, attack it by the one, pass the puck to the right side to um, Anderson, go back on the back. I said the one, I paint it, it was JK and Honey, I'll go back at the blind, hold the puck right there. Don't pay the puck a little bit more. St. Louis tried to get back outside the zone, it definitely did it right now by Walker, I believe. Don't pay the puck, it's just enough by Jack Guy at the blind. Said we put some pressure. Finally, Montreal going down put the puck in the neutral zone. Said we're going to regroup and going to hold the puck a little bit longer before they pass the puck in the neutral zone. Set up now one versus one. Again, the defenseman of Montreal Canadian. A good check by Arbor. The puck shoot to the other side. Recovery by Senator Blue. Bring the puck to Perinko. Perinko pass the puck to the shoot the puck in front of the net. Tip. Allen make a save. Rebound to the side. Montreal recovery the puck. Try the puck outside the zone. But good pressure by Senator Blues. And now bring the puck to the board. Bring the puck. Run the puck all the back of the blind. Per recovery by Perinko. Pass it to uh, I've seen uh, outside. No, it was a way for the last minute. The puck stay in the zone. Battle behind the goaltender of the Jake Allen. Said we win the battle. Bring the puck to the blind. Fire the puck. Uh, the shot again. Rebound to the left side. Perinko down, coming down. Bring the puck behind the net with Jack, uh, Jack High. Recovery by St. Louis. Bring the puck again to the blue line. Move the puck left to the side. Shoot the puck. Black shot by Montreal. The puck bouncing back behind the good Jake Allen. Send we all over the Montreal. Canadian. Shoot the puck again. Rebound in front of the net. Still again. The puck to St. Louis Blues. Montreal went out. They had no clue what to do. Now go back behind the St. Louis attack in the right side of Jake Allen. Hold the puck to the goal line. Bring the puck to the blind. Fire the puck again. Black shot by Jake Allen. Lose the puck. Uh, so skip a stick. Uh, finally, Montreal going down the puck and finally going to have new plus from Montreal. Wow. Great shot by St. Louis. Uh, finally, Jake Allen make a save with a glove. No thing else happening. This is the first whistle of the first period between St. Louis and uh, Montreal Canadian. Wow. What a, what a start for the both uh, team. Send uh, the beginning of this game. All St. Louis about the Montreal Canadian. I'm happy to say I was wrong about Copley, and I'm very grateful for him. No, and I said you complain a lot. I don't know. Uh, I didn't say you complain a lot. Uh, a lot. Uh, good to see you. Uh, it has been fun me. It's going to be by an ice cream for the kid. Uh, drop as uh, yes. Uh, uh, at the game, it was nice to see that. Uh, and then uh, that is one can bring. Uh, Jake, uh, let's go. Here we go. Go back now. Uh, the defenseman by the Montreal Canadian for the bench. Uh, go back to the Carfield. Carfield recovery a puck a little bit uh, on the right side of the Bennington, but no chance to go to step up and up by St. Louis Blues. Try the puck outside the zone. Uh, hold the puck a little bit longer. The defenseman pass the puck in the uh, Balfour. Now go recovery to the disc. Uh, attacking now by the St. Louis Blues, the number 63. Hold the puck a little bit more. Uh, recovery by Carfield behind the net with Brendan Shine. Battle, but St. Louis Blues find a way to get a puck. Uh, uh, go back to Parashev, uh, Parashenov, he shoot a puck, missed the net by the defenseman, recovery by Brandon Sad. Sad bring it back to the D, holding now by uh, Barrenko, back go to D, shoot a puck in front, Allen uh, on the right side. Finally, Montreal going to find a way to get a puck back to Carfield. Carfield at the blind, Carfield lobbed the puck over the defenseman, the puck bouncing back, Zuski trying to get a puck, uh, the puck bouncing between Perinko and uh, Carfield, finally going to get out uh, by the St. Louis Blues. Uh, don't pin the puck uh, behind Robert Thomas, uh, dead outside, we have the call, uh, uh, no, no call. Uh, they're outside. That's how the recovery by the Montreal Canadian attacking out in front of the bench as soon as Blues. Uh, hold the puck. Uh, go back. Great right move at the last minute. Uh, and then we have the Montreal Canadian players uh, uh, 
Sly and the Net with David Savard with the goaltender Bennington. And this is another whistle and another. Uh, I'm not yet prepared to reduce the ski a careful to second line. Lautana would tell them might want a context. You are still very young. Thanks so much for your comments. Coach and that thank you were said I was complaining. I was I just said I'm grateful for coupling. Yeah, so far looking good. Uh, you know, it's a goaltender like you have a many chance in NHL, Washington and Colorado, I believe, and now you have an opportunity to step up with that team and He's at the right spot at the right time, and hopefully he's going to consist this uh, great uh, uh, opportunity with the Kings. Uh, go back now behind Bennington, recovery by the defenseman. Uh, when you point DDD, set up now by Perrin Cole. Hold the puck a little bit more, pass the point neutral zone. Back, uh, I think it's Justin Falk. Uh, don't play probably a good tender recovery. On the left side of Allen is the defenseman. Uh, I'm not sure he was the defenseman. Anyhow, Montreal to get the puck outside. I think it was Armia. Anyhow, the puck bouncing back, set up by uh, our Jackai. Use the board, passing the puck, recovery by the Montreal Canadian. Hold the puck a little bit more in the offensive zone. Uh, don't play probably behind ben Bennington, chasing out by the defense. Defenseman of the St. Louis Blues behind the net. They go to Rome. Intercept by Montreal. Jackai putting by the back door. We'll go back to the blind. Whiteman now. Whiteman looking back to Jackai. Jackai pass at the back door. Shoot the puck on the one timer, but completely missed the, the, the shot. I think it was Richard. Anyhow, don't be impacted by white men. Finally, St. Louis is going to recover a pocket. And then it was on. Go back on the other side. Break away in front of Jake Adams coming. And Adams make a save. Well, great opportunity right there. White man completely missed his. Uh, Calculation about to cover his man. Honey out. Pesetta will recover puck. Pass the puck in front of the bench for white men. White men hold the puck a little bit longer. New players coming for both teams. White men go back all the way back in front the left side of Jake Adams. Drop the puck behind. Set up now by uh, Sakaski. Leave the puck behind the defenseman. Uh, Edmondson, I believe. Hold the puck. Uh, I think it was Jordan Harris. Packs to cover seven. Shadow blind. Cover seven now the red line. Don't be a puck in front of the bench. I'm saying we don't be a puck behind the goaltender. Reset now. But yeah, I seen a very bad play by. Uh, Kovacevic, on this moment, that's what's happening. Uh, will they save? Gary Conway, uh, Subban interview, Pachotti this week, and no sign of bad blood, not at all. A uh, great interview was happening at the ESPN, Gary, and I agree with you. Uh, and then, you know, Pachotti is going to, Su Su Subban is going to be an uh, honorary uh, next week. Uh, Anyhow, to go back behind the net, that battle behind uh, Jake Allen. The Sun Blue is going to recover the puck, but finally the puck go back to Kosovic, bring the puck to Sakaski, pass the puck to Anderson. Great play, Pasuski Anderson coming with speed, lose the puck at last second, the puck bouncing back, uh, and now try to get out. Uh, Aris could not keep the puck. Sakaski love the puck now, uh, all the way back on the defense season. The Sun Blue love the puck to the side. Justin Falk go to the DDD. Reset that by the Blues. Uh, Lad the puck again into the zone. Both teams in the puck. The puck stay in the zone. Great play by Anderson. Hold the puck now. Anderson dropped the uh, sucker ski. Great play by the net by Anderson. It was uh, they were right. Couldn't do anything about this. Uh, another shot. Uh, I'm going to reset all the way back over there. So we're going to give you more information here. Uh, TV timeout. So give us a chance, guys, to uh, relax a little bit more. Don't forget to click on the like. That'd be awesome. And thanks to be a part of the show at the Hockey Nation live show tonight. Uh,
what I will I would be uh, offering is first uh, the line contract for playing he may eventually drop the second line uh, duties uh, per set. the contract should have tied they will assist the line they should play about that uh, the uh, master trend prospection uh, um, I don't see Cole Caulfield play a second line. I don't think so. I didn't like think you that. Uh, I don't know if that's what you're talking about. Uh, uh, Coach, uh, those uh, Sunset and Thailand are the best. Uh, yes, they are. It's funny you talk about this because uh, uh, because uh, it's cloudy uh, for the last two days. Uh, this is the first time it's cloudy like this, guys. I have to go all the way in November, I believe. Uh, you usually have a beautiful sunrise and the sunset here. But... Uh, the, uh, yesterday for the weekend and today was not good. Jake Evans playing part on left right, shooting right side, uh, shooting part by uh, Carfield, Carfield shooting puck, uh, and then stopped by the goaltender of the Bennington on the shot. I said, uh, I, I don't know if uh, which, <laughs> which uh, player I mentioned his name, but it was called Carfield anyway. So that's what happened in. Uh, Perinko's coming in offensive zone, drives the puck to side, bring the puck to the side, the back door, great stick by Carfield, the puck bouncing over the shine, but find a way to get the puck back, yeah, turn around, cut, cut back in front of Iris, lose his edge, the Carfield left the puck in the zone, the puck bouncing back, yeah, reset now by uh, Mikala, but finally the Montreal going to battle in front of the bench yeah, with two players all the way, uh, uh, then, uh, para, uh, then you have Shine over there, try to get the line up for the center with blues, uh, Bartashev is there with Shine and Saad. And Mikola recovery the puck behind the net. They'll hold the puck a little bit more. Keep the puck now. They'll hold the puck, set up the breakout. New plus coming for the St. Louis Blues. Uh, hold the puck now. The back. Uh, finally, pass the puck in the zone. Don't play the puck behind Jake Allen. Chase him up by Montreal Canadian. Now, finally, uh, find by Thomas. Many points on the right side. Uh, uh, St. Louis Blues missed seven players tonight. Uh, go back to a uh, road. Uh, Go to the left side, send Didi, show the puck, miss the net, recovery percentage with blues on the back door, the right side, show the puck, eh? the puck, and miss the net completely, recovery the way. At the blind by uh, Pushnevich, eh? battle for the puck, eh? Pushnevich play with now with Kiru tonight, eh? and Thomas, eh? battle on the left side, uh, left call, left side of Jake Allen. The puck try to pick outside the zone by that enough, again, returning behind the goaltender, Montreal struggle in the defensive zone. Savard find a way to get a puck now. Savard draw the puck behind uh, Joanne and Minson. New players coming from Greg Berube at coach. Uh, Montreal do the same thing. Bring the puck, so bring the new players. Uh, we have a full uh, new change. Uh, Albert Jagai back on the ice. Uh, we have right now a neighbor on the ice, uh, except Edmonton, Oler, uh, or Kings uh, on the WHL uh, draft uh, first round by a couple of years ago. But it's always blows. Anyhow, Montreal find a way to park, pass the park, long stretch pass now uh, to uh, Pesada. Should the park, Bennington make a save, no rebound. We're going to be on the right side of the Pesada. And then we're going to reset uh, on the right side of Bennington, going to reset on the left side, on the right side. Uh. Yeah, absolutely right. William, they missed. Uh, they tried to get the keep the uh, Ethan State to be physical, but they missed, uh, you know, a bunch of scorer tonight. Example, Tarasenko, O'Reilly, Terrin Perrin over there, and uh, it's going to be hard for them for sure. Uh, now, Whiteman recovered the pipe, find the pipe to the left side, shoot the pipe by the Montreal Canadian, a block shot uh, by the Jonathan Doran, shoot the pipe, but block shot by Bennington, the pipe go back on the right side. For Richard intercepted the pipe, Bennington to the Jonathan Doran. Richard have two points, one goal, one assist at the first. Uh, Five game, go back there and funny net. Uh, the puck go over the Jackai. Jackai was going to go right. The puck bouncing back on his left. Uh, recovery by him, bring it back to the Pesada. Don't play by behind Bennington. Uh, we just crossed the 10 minutes to go. Rosen behind the goaltender. Rosen exit Toronto Maple Leaf. Pass the puck to Bartuzzo. Don't play the puck behind the goaltender. Chase now. And it will be a nice scene uh, for the St. Louis Blues. Uh, going to reset all the way back on the defensive zone of the. We 
Christoph went in, but they were racked at the back. And the center I get back, no chance. Rosen ran the puck around the board, all the way back in front of the bench on Montreal. And it was set by Whiteman. Pass the puck now to Sarkowski, attacking now the left side of Bennington. Challenger, shoot it, puck. Great play by Benny, by Sarkowski. A great move, shifty from the left to the right. It was the rack possible. I apologize. I think I said that. They, uh, I said Sarkowski. And uh, we have a TV timeout. Uh, Francois Pitt, welcome aboard. Thanks to be with us tonight. Uh, I will do the Ab, Ab King. Uh, inside and four sub, we move uh, Toby uh, Linonen, uh, 18 years old. Linonen has played seven games this season with the JL Pike. U18 20 is uh, performing uh, incredibly well at this level. And then a 6 1 0 record. Another great goaltender. Stefan Terry, knock the door. Salut, mon de Stefan. Thanks for being with our Canadian show, show. Don't forget to click on the likes. Uh, let's see what happened about the Buffalo Sabres take the lead 1 0. Allison, 14 of the year, 0 0, Toronto, Detroit. And then we have 1 1, the Kraken and the Senator so far. Katschuk score. Buckstrom is 6 of the year, 0 0, Montreal Canadian. Uh, the Kings going to start at 10 o'clock. We have a uh, uh, 1 2 3 4 game in action right now. Then all the game after that is at 10 o'clock. The Golden Knight, all the Kings, Avalanche play the Edmonton tonight. A very good game. It's going to be the double header if you're looking for the Hockey Night in Canada. The Boston Bruins visit the Sharks. The Sharks lost a very bad game again. The Anaheim Ducks uh, yesterday and over time. What a bad team are the Sharks. Uh, for the second time this year, I took, the, I took their, them as my prediction against Anaheim. Both games they lost and over time. And that team is so messed up. The Chicago, the San Jose Sharks. Uh, last night, I did the game Florida Panthers, Detroit Red Wings. Uh, really disappointment about the Detroit Red Wings yesterday. Um, not much fire over there. Um, I don't know. Um, if you, I know KLS is a big fan of Detroit. Michael Davidano is a big fan of Detroit. But uh, I would be concerned the money they gave to Ben Chariot and uh, Andrew Kopp. Uh, uh, two players, not really great uh, for the money they get uh, and uh, for, you know, save as a man, don't do a lot of bad decisions. But uh, I would be very really concerned about Andrew Kopp, uh, um, you know, to give that kind of money. Um, I don't know. But, uh, yep. And uh, David Perron had a really bad game yesterday. Again, the, the, Panthers, uh, the Panthers took advantage of this. The Panthers are now 20 seconds in NHL standing. They step up a little bit more. They, uh, they go from 24 to 20 seconds. They're going to play the Dallas Star tomorrow night. So it will be interesting what is going to happen over there. Montreal to set up back on field behind the net. Mikela recovered the puck. Don't play a puck on the right side. Pinched by the Montreal Canadian. The puck stuck on the wall. Finally, the center will be going to get out of the zone. The great pass to Parenko. Parenko at the red line. Don't play a puck. Left uh, J.K. Adams chasing by uh, Brendan Shine. That first, that second line is going to have a lot of time tonight for the center Blues with the first line. Shine battle for the back at, with uh, Brendan Sad. And then go back over Savage, pass the puck the right side. The puck go outside up by Zizki to go back to Carfield. Carfield attacking now. Carfield loses the puck last minute. Recovery now by Sad. Putting it back to Mikola. Mikola is going to be behind the net. They're going to reset all the way back. Mikola hold the puck a little bit longer. New players coming for the same with Blues. They're both team, by the way. They're going to reset now on the defensive zone. Go back on the right side. Turn around all the way back by uh, Kiru. Kiru changed the direction. Kiru got a new contract this summer. Uh, Eight-year contract like Robert Thomas. Uh, a little bit over $8 million. The puck go back uh, at Jake Allen. In front of Parachev. Uh, Parachev intercepted par Montreal Canadian. Go back now. D2D. Hold the puck a little bit longer. Chasing now. Cover Savage playing the puck to Iris. Uh, go, uh, maybe sub out to Edmondson. Pass the puck now on the right side. Attacking up by Jake Evans. Uh, Evans on the puck. Evans coming. Shoot the puck. Uh, Bennington make a save. Good puck bouncing back. Uh, and uh, Thomas. Uh, Thomas pass the puck to Kiru. Kiru don't play the puck. Chasing now behind the net of the Jake Allen. First one to get a save with Blues. But up with Joel Edmondson. Uh, Thomas joined the party with Kiru. Uh, and of course, uh, jo and then David Savard finally. Matua step up. Uh, Matua taking now. Jake Evans pass the puck. The right side taking uh, to Joel Armia. Pass the puck to Dadenav. No chance. The puck stop at the blind by Savard. Return the puck to Dadenav. Dadenav have two goals this season. Looking for the third goal uh, for a long time. Anyhow, go back for Thomas. Thomas in front of the bench. Pass the puck a little bit too far for Parashev. The puck bouncing back. And we finally go dumping the puck in the left corner of Jake Allen. A recovery by, um, I think it was a Kirby Dock. A battle for the puck. The puck will go back at the blind. Reset by Perenko. Return the puck by Jake Allen. Whiteman tried to get a puck in front of the 
il a fait Jake Allen, battle all the back, et Saint Louis win the battle, donc pay pas bien un goal tender, Jake Allen leave the puck to Whiteman, run the puck all the back of the blind, intercept par Saint Louis, shoot the puck in front of the net, tip, block shot par Jagger, to go back on the right corner, donc pay pas bien un goal tender, Jake Allen, we have a battle now, two players, four players battle for the puck, the four line for the, for the Blues are there tonight, right on the, on the ice at this moment. Win the battle behind the net. Uh, Jackai Whiteman still struggling to get the buck. Uh, for back blind. Fire by Perenko. Black shot in front of the net. The bun bun sing back. Rick, uh, recovery by Saint Louis. Shoot the puck and a black shot by the defenseman. The puck stuck behind the net. Uh, Montreal to get a puck by uh, Jackai. But Saint Louis find a way to get a puck back. Uh, but the Whiteman ran the puck around the board. Whiteman going to lob the puck. Uh, all the way back on defense is on. But no icing. Chasing right now between suckers. Kill the Leisman. Love is controlled if he skate. Uh, They just make a great night diving in front of the bench of the Serbs Blues and the Leisman. Anyhow, go back by Rosen. Rosen pass the puck to uh, Perenko. Perenko to the red line. Don't play the puck uh, behind Jake Allen. The puck bouncing back to Kovacevic. Uh, hold the puck a bit more. Don't play to Harris. Harris leave the puck uh, to the uh, Richard. Richard lose the puck uh, uh, at the neutral zone. Battle now with Pesada. But finally, the puck go back to Kovacevic. Pass the puck down the way back uh, to the way. Don't play the puck. It's chased by Pesada in front of Bennington. It's set now by Sintini. Ran the puck around the board. Pinching right around Jordan Harris. Uh, and the puck will be uh, stuck right now in the defense season. The Saint Louis Blues uh, until uh, Harris returns the puck deep in the zone. And Bennington is going to recover the puck. Uh. Now, Sintini find a way. Sintini loses his contract. Penalty, uh, bad penalty to Montreal Canadian. Uh, Michael Pesada, really bad play again for a tripping at 200 feet from Jake Allen on different on offensive zone. A really bad penalty if you want to be a piss off a coach. This is the kind of penalty he take many times, Pesada. And he should be upset. Wow. Quite a bad penalty for the young man, Pesada. Um, no more words uh, to talk about this, uh, about that penalty, obviously. We're going to set up a little bit more uh, during the time we have a TV timeout. Uh. Here we go. Send it with on power play. Number 11 uh, standing with a 23.9 since the beginning of the season. Send it with a little bit dangerous on power play. For the Montreal Canadiens, the PK is still at 23 in the ranking NHL at 73.8. Uh, power play, the first power play of the night uh, between the St. Louis Blues and the Montreal Canadiens. It will be interesting how the Montreal can respond. Stop our playoff bounce, baby. I want uh, Pets and Laval, Francois Pitre, 1-0 Detroit, William McClary. Uh, you like a pen setup? Um, um, uh, not really, but uh, poor uh, skating ability lead to penalty like that. Uh, yep, uh, pen setup take, take time for younger to progress. Uh, Awesome, Zef. Uh, I appreciate a lot. Great, uh, <laughs> great way. Someone tell me that Detroit is winning. Uh, here we go, William. Pesad now on the right side, Jake Allen. A little bit over five minutes to go remaining. The puck bouncing back in defensive zone of the St. Louis after winning. Well, we have a whistle. I don't know what's happening there. Um, I don't know what happened. Samson of Luciano. Uh, we're going to see uh, what's going on around the league. Uh, the Kraken take the lead 3-1, guys, over Ottawa. The Kraken on fire right now. They are winning. And, uh, and um, the Detroit take the lead once. Only one shot, guy for Toronto, I believe. Um, I don't want to be a bad guy here, but Toronto, they're not looking good. Uh, the last couple of games, and the Kraken are on fire. Uh, beat a couple of teams. I think Washington, they beat the Toronto, I believe. And now they are beating the... Ottawa Senator, not good news for Montreal Canadian. If you are, uh, you know, 
you will want to to Florida or Montreal go down. Honey, I'll go back now. But it's uh, Falk, pass the part to the side, bring the part to uh, is it uh, Pushnevich uh, or anyway, Falk, bring the part right side to Thomas, Thomas to Kiro, behind the net, all the part to Sad. Sad back at the right side, Pushnevich, pass the part to Blank, all day by Justin Falk, bring the part to the left corner, recovery by uh, Kiro, bring the part to uh, Shiny, intercept by the Montreal Canadian, lob the park on the offensive zone, all the way back behind Bennington. The uh, puck bouncing back, and Bennington intercepts the puck. Uh, go back now by the defenseman, uh, Justin Falk, and carry on the puck, uh, load the puck to the line, draw the puck behind, set up now by um, Pichnevich, uh, bring the puck to Kiru, Kiru, hold the puck, uh, draw the puck to the line, back up that uh, Shine, Shine, hold the puck to the ball, back to Kiru, back at the back door for Thomas, I believe, holding back, coming out, shoot the puck, miss the neck of the lead, puck bouncing for Kiru, the puck go out of the play, recovery by Justin Falk with a little bit uh, 35 seconds remaining on the power play and 324 uh, for the set first period. Recovery by Perrinko. Perrinko return the puck to Justin Falk at the blue line. Hold the puck a little bit longer. Pass the puck to the side. A kick out. Intercept by Montreal Canadian. Attacking now on offensive zone. Hold the puck a little more. Change the direction uh, by Jake Evans. Shoot the puck. Black shot by Perrinko. Recovery by Solid Blues. Uh, Ray, uh, and now on the transition, pass the puck in neutral zone. Keep the puck right away back. Uh, hold the puck in the blind. Don't pay a puck behind goaltender. And uh, the Jake Allen, PJC by Jordan Manson in the left corner. And now Montreal recovery puck by Jake Evans, I believe. 20 puck outside the zone. The puck stay in the zone. Recovery by St. Louis Blues. Evans trying no damage. I think we have zero shots on that power play, by the way, by the St. Louis Blues. Uh, they go back on defensive zone. We set now by the, the St. Louis Blues going to reset the Break out, uh, going to set up in front of the uh, Devil Rack. Uh, anyhow, go back now by the center's blue. Uh, taking out, shoot a puck. Uh, Jake Evans make a save. Rebound. Great stick by Manson uh, uh, to save that si is that situation. Now, center's blue attacking now behind the goaltender. Bring the body blind. Hold that pin. Mikala return the puck behind the goaltender. And uh, reset now by a uh, pinch by. Um, uh, it was uh, Rosen. Anyhow, Allen make a save with a glove. Nothing happening there after that. Uh, we're going to reset on the left side. Jake Allen. And that's what uh, about a little bit more over two minutes to go remaining guys on this uh, game. Show the puck for the Blues. I didn't make a save. Rebound for the net. Uh, Montreal recovery. The puck to a puck outside the zone. Now he did it. Caulfield intercept now. From pass for uh, uh, Doc. Recovery by Montreal, uh, by uh, Whiteman. Whiteman now behind the goaltender. Ran the puck to the Zuski at the wall. Zuski loses the puck at the left side. Recovery by now by the center of the Blue. Attacking now. Hold the puck more at the blind. On the back door. Intercept by Caulfield. Montreal attacking now. Three versus still. Back again. Caulfield under the blue line. Kick the puck to uh, Doc. Bring the Caulfield behind the net. The, the puck bouncing back at Bennington. Drop the puck behind the goaltender. Reset now. Pressure by Montreal can end. Intercept now by Cole Caulfield. Cole Caulfield changed his direction. Great play by Rosen. But the puck ball back to the ski. Bring the blind. Nobody was there for the Montreal can end after he changed the players. Sava was going to recovery on defense. on new players coming for both teams. That's what we got so far. And this win both team with 0 0 at 128. And Montreal can end for the second game, guys. They're not going to give any goal. Uh, hopefully they don't, uh, but uh, uh, during the first period, that's what Martin St. Louis looking play better on defensive zone and not give a goal at the first five minutes. Uh, Montreal don't play the point defensive zone, recovery by Perrinko. Drop the point into the zone, set up by Kiru, I believe, battle, uh, and the blue line, uh, intercept by Sarkoski, Sarkoski, you know, fire puck, uh, block shot by Perrinko, the puck go out of the play, out of the play. Uh, we're going to reset on the right side of the Perrinko, uh, the Bennington, uh, Thank you so much for being with us tonight. Don't forget, guys, to click on the like if you don't mind. That'd be great. Uh, we have 50 people and we have only 29 likes. So uh, we cost you nothing, uh, and that would give us a uh, big boots. Uh, uh, to, to the channel, if you don't mind, that'd be good. We appreciate a lot uh, for your donation of your like tonight. 
<laughs> Go back behind the net. Uh, reset by now by Justin Falk. Uh, hold the puck a bit longer. Wait for the players coming back. Uh, pass the puck to right side to Kali Rosen. Uh, Rosen pass the puck to the uh, neutral zone. Set up now. Recovery by uh, so, uh, Devorak. Return the puck to the D. Recovery by Montreal at the front net and uh, the front bench. Back to Sokoski to the right. Service in the by Bennington. Big save. Rebound. No, they turn around. They turn it back again. Now 2 1 for Sainz Blue. Brand insurance coming now. Flying on the back door. Shoot it back. And a boo. A turnover by the Montreal Canadian to one side. Go back the way to another side. And that way, at the 33.6, at the end of the period, the Sainz Blues take the lead 1 0. After a great play by Devo Racket, Sarkoski could not take the rebound. And then, uh, I don't know what happened, a three forward. A uh, Jordan Iris, I believe, uh, bun, uh, go a little bit too far. Uh, it was David Saval. That Saval. That's the problem with Saval, that one over there. And unfortunately, Justin is blue, take the lead 1 0 over the Montreal Canadiens. A goal us, Brandon Sad. Uh, great pass by Brandon Shine. And that's the way happening on this goal. And that's what we got. Um, ladies and gentlemen, Sada, five but and the last five game, by the way, for Brendan Sada. Uh, you know, big piece of the Colorado Avalanche a couple of years ago. Sada, ex Chicago Blackhawks. Uh, no, no, pre no review called. It was accepted. We're going to wait now for the puck drop and recovery by the Montreal Canadiens. All the puck uh, don't play puck on the right side. Chasing by Joel Armia. And then uh, Jake Evans and Mikala recovered the puck, but the puck to that enough. And Senator Blue tried to get a puck side, and that's the line for the Montreal Canadiens. They're going to return the puck on defensive zone. It's going to be an icing, I believe. No icing by Jake Allen, uh, by the Lightsman. He said, No, no icing. Will be interesting. Go back now by that enough. That enough battle with Perenko. And go back behind the goaltender, Perenko. Uh, that enough, guys. Uh, forgot his heart and Vegas. Uh, go back behind the net. It's going to be the end. Here we go, guys. The first period is over uh, between the Sunday Blues and the Montreal Canadiens after 20 minutes at the Bell Center. We have only one goal. We have to wait until the last minute of the game period. Brendan Sad score is 12 of the year. I stood by Brendan Shine and Barbashev uh, to take the lead 1 0 at 19 27. 11 shot by the, by the Montreal Canadiens, and we have 9 shot uh, by the the St. Louis Blues after 20 minutes at the Bell Center. So thanks to be with us. And that's all the results we have for you guys of this uh, game between both teams. going to set up now the uh, couple of update here. One here. And uh, I'm going to give you that one over there. St. Louis is uh, sad. I stood by um, 10 and Barbashev 49. Here we go. I'm going to add this. Thanks so much to be a part of you. I'm going to give you a little bit more information uh, about what we have here. So you can have all the information here. The face up is. Even guys, 50 50. St. Louis always been a good team with a face off. Uh, take away, uh, gave away 6 9 black shot. Uh. Not many black shots tonight, guys. Only three for both teams. Uh. Here we go. We got all the information you need to know about this. So we'll see what we have in the chat. Uh, don't forget, guys, to click on the like. That'd be awesome. Uh, if you have people talk, not, not, not much more than getting on top. Uh, Carmine, Carmen, uh, Cardinal, welcome aboard, Carmine. Carmen, uh, welcome aboard. Blue goals. Uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, that one day I would get around four points away. I will start to include them and the app watch. Better, better for Francois Petre. Good for bed. You call out at the Leave a player on the TV is so cry to mom at the channel. Uh, if they leave one their curse to be uh, done, they need to apologize and pay to the family back to the Larry Will Ilman. About this, uh, Larry Ilman passed away last year, obviously, but you're right. Uh, 
uh, another late goal for an attack. And, <laughs> and attack said another late goal. Listen, guys, we <laughs> we just talk this. They gave a lot of goal at the beginning of the period. Now we talk uh, going to go at the late goal. Uh, I did everything but score a lot. Uh, uh, like at the start, you're absolutely right about this. Uh, they said in the game, of course, they, they could score, but they cannot finish the shot. And then they turn around, and David Saval pinched too much uh, on that play. I uh, watch this. It's going to be Sharks uh, five point behind. So, Black uh, plays the same with Blues. Uh, black shot is um, six right now. Okay. Uh, one other defenseman get caught. Sipping who was on the carry. So it was a. Uh, Saval and Edmondson, we have a, a, a transition with D Rush with Saval, and they have a turnover. Bennington make a big save with the left pad, the puck bouncing back, and then soon Blue bit all the puck, and you have a turnaround, a quick, it's called an hockey quick up, and then they pick it up uh, after Saval got caught at the blue line because he pinched too much deep, and it become a two versus one. Edmondson could not do anything about that. Uh, who is going to score for Montreal Canadian? Real deal. Uh, why not join Armia? Join Armia, guys, is always at stake, uh, at stake usually, at stake. So uh, we need to be surprised Joel Armia can make a couple of games, uh, goals for the next couple of days. Uh, uh, nice one, but the goal is you guys did today. Uh, yes, Rick, it was funny because it was 2-0 for, uh, I watched the game at what, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock in the morning. And Columbus take uh, the lead 2-0. And then uh, Carolina come back with three goals. Uh, uh, two of the three with Pacioretty. I thought uh, now it would be over. Uh, but they find a way to tie the game at the third period to 3-3. Three, three, and then uh, no goal in overtime. And you have to go all the way by uh, or shoot out. And the Russian kids um, have a hat trick, if I can recall it. Uh, woof. Manchenko. Six, seven, and eight for him for Marchenko. And he scored uh, an, on shootout, I can call it. Uh, after 20 minutes, guys, the Red, Ring, the Red Wings 1-0. Wildman scored his third goal. Wildman is a produce of the series Blues. Uh, the Sabre take the lead 1-0 over the Minnesota after 20 minutes. Uh, it's Olafson scored his 14th of the year. The Kraken take the lead 3-1 again. Ottawa Senator. Uh, Buckstrad is 6th of the year. McCann is 19. And then um, Justin Schultz, uh, ex-Washington Capitals, already have four goals uh, with them. Uh, the only goal from the Senator is the uh, captain, uh, Brady Katschuk, is 14 of the years. Uh, and then we have nothing else after the fact it's Montreal Canadiens. So that gives you all the, the notes, uh, all the information you need to know between both teams. And that's what we got so far at the Bell Center tonight. Uh, Nice one. There you go. Mr. Randy Walkman is in the house. Welcome back, Randy. Thanks for being with the Hockey Nation Live show tonight. <laughs> and then uh, Keeve, uh, the D was caught uh, dreaming about better. <laughs> and then welcome back uh, from New Falkland. Whoops, sorry. Question from Ron. Uh, does every team have a last minute goal gift uh, like Washington as the McNugget minute? Uh, and if uh, free ice cream, if they don't finish it on the period. Uh, I don't know. I think I'm going to try to give uh, wings, uh, chicken wings, uh, if they score five goals in more per game. Uh, that's what I can call it. Uh, Mr. Dooney Reardon is in the house. Dooney, welcome back. Uh, our veteran make uh, just as a mini mistake, uh, like you said, Mr. Corey will, ne uh, will never catch up Chicago for the man number one pick. Uh, one side, you're right, Corey. But again, guys, I will want to remind you this. Uh, for the last 10 or 12 years, guys, all right, uh, only two times. One, it was last season, Montreal Canadiens got the first pick, uh, whatever they finished at the bottom and descending. The last 12 years, it did not happen. Um, so that's something they have to um, chance for the first finish like Chicago last to get it not much I think uh, check the team finish second third or fourth could pick up the first round uh, the first pick it's going to be really fun I already imagine guys the NHL draft lottery that night at the Hockey Nation Live show I can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait for that one. Uh, or be interesting. Uh, 
show some live a real deal uh, Corey at 0 2023 run with King first I would be a uh, Bill Bington then Keon then Elman how many cuts on that team uh, William McClary Gary Garnett uh, Sakaski have a good first period doing his reps uh, yeah I agree with you Gary it was pretty good overall for him I know it's no problem Mr. W, uh, WST check out for the all-star game uh, really um all right um it's okay you can uh, set that all off uh, welcome back to wst i'm at the late light just go over the player uh back in 10 minutes uh, mccann is having a great year yeah another great year for him you know J jared mccann have a great uh story you know i mean like got trade to the toronto to pittsburgh returned the uh, toronto could keep him and they'll prefer to let him go and now play with a subtle kraken and uh He was really a uh, underrated player for the Pittsburgh Penguins uh, when they have a couple of race, a uh, couple of time in the playoff. And uh, now McCain uh, is really doing well with the Saddle Kraken, almost 20 goals this year. Uh, and I thought, what do you think? I bet on tonight, uh, you do get Minton at home. Nope. Uh, and then, uh, Luciano. Uh, hey, Shannon uh, Costco is looking for a new company president. Uh, there we go. I pick up uh, Pacioretty on my uh, fantasy hockey, uh, Laurentien, Laurentien. Uh, team three weeks ago. Now he would pay off. He'll be a point a game until June. Uh, first of all, uh, I don't know he's going to be at one point, but I'll be honest with you. You took the right decision. I think Pacioretty play now on the power play number one. Uh, he play on the top line over there. And you're going to increase your number of the point per week with your fantasy team. So we said to you, Mr. Laurentien, first of all, welcome to the Hockey Nation Live Show. It's the first time we welcome you. If not, welcome back. And don't forget to click on the like and subscribe to the Hockey Nation Live Show. And good luck for your fantasy hockey for the rest of the season. First of all, the team who want to give away uh, everything for better should remember the Lendro straight. Uh, It's funny because Francois, I make a trade. I make a trade. I make a video yesterday about Caulfield for trade uh, for uh, Bedal. And, uh, you know, this came from a great McCann, whatever he does with other people. And uh, they create some kind of turmoil in the Montreal area. I just amplified this yesterday <laughs> with my video. And um, you're absolutely right. If you look about the big trade like that, Uh, you never win the Sunday Cup uh, with that kind of players, I believe. One, and you drop now. What what, what was the trade proposal for him? It was uh, Caulfield plus two first-round pick. Uh, now, I don't know if it was a 23, 23, 24, or 2024, uh, but imagine he gave a Florida Panthers in return, and now uh, they select the you know, second overall. So you're going to give Beda, uh, Caulfield, You're going to give uh, Fentelli or Carlson. Then you're going to give uh, another one after that. Uh, that costs a lot of money for Conor Bedard. Um, I will not do it. I don't like a one-dimension player. Like, not one-dimension. I don't like a, a superstar and nobody around him. Uh, they will push. They will have to push backwards for a couple of years before they come back. Um, I would prefer to keep Bedard. Uh, I would prefer to keep Caulfield. You can add Carlson, and now you can add a Will Smith example. Three players together, a, a minimum, a minimum, a minimum, 75 gold per year, a minimum, 150 points per year, one you're going to the other prim, versus Conor Bedal. Can Conor Bedal score 75 gold per year? Can Conor Bedal does 150 uh, points per game, uh, per season? Now you have three players versus one. I don't know. Uh, me, I will not do it. But uh, great point to remember. Uh, trait uh, for uh, Lend Rose. Um, coach, a uh, question. Guess the next time we see Bedal will be the IIFF World Cup late spring. Do you think he would be there? A uh, good test uh, for him against men. Uh, would be interesting, William, um, uh, because, you know, he played right now with a regional pass, and they don't want to trade him. The team is not going to make the, the World Cup. Uh, so... The world junior, the world championship, almost at the same time, 
can he go there? It's possible. He can go there. And it all depends on his schedule and the playoff of the of the WHL. But it's possible. Seriously, that was Gary Show Zero. Damn emotion. Uh, about this, uh, Brett Wing, uh, Rick Bengal, uh, say, but coach, uh, would you trade Caulfield to get better? No. Um, because it's a package deal, like I just said, Tony, so I would not do that uh, in the return. Um, and that was my third choice. Uh, um, sometimes that's what you need to do. Somebody let you know. Uh, hey, coach, uh, did you read the book uh, Dans la Chambre? No. Uh, Laurentien, malheureusement, um, je ne l'ai pas lu. Um, I did not read it, uh, Laurentien. I love one of those kind of inter intermission. We can talk about hockey. That's a great thing about this. Uh, uh, King of Gamer, what line do you see Connor Bella working well with on Montreal where he's drafted by them? You need to have a great. I will not put Carfield, Suzuki, and Bedal together, but I will put Suzuki with Bedal. Now, I will put Doc with Bedal. I think if you were to play with Montreal, the best scenario would be Sakoski, Carfield, and Suzuki together. Then you're going to have Doc, Bedal on that line. Whoever they get, imagine they get Leo Carlson, example. I was just dreaming right now, but um, there will be a guy like this. Now, the third player with Doc and Bedal have to be a good um, a good defensive player, too, a two-way player. A long term could be Joshua Roy, but they are not there right now. With the lineup they have, it's very difficult to mention the name. It, they, not, they don't have a lot of top six over there. So, it's you know, it's hard to... Presume or and the and the first sure. but they don't have Montreal Canadian. We have barely have Kirby Duck playing the first line, so uh, they don't have anybody there. Uh, the team who would have the first pick would ask the world back planet for yeah. I, I think Francois, you know, I did not talk about this in my video because he was wanting to say to bring people to watch it is. Always thinking about it. Rick Bengal mentioned a lot of time business, 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 right? And sometimes he could use that kind of, you know, and I understand what he tried to bring on the table when he said that. But when you trade Connor Bedal, you're losing a ton of million dollars on revenues, promotion, marketing. And, you know, you can promote Cole Carfield, but Connor Bedal is going to be two times more revenues and your team with the jerseys and all the around him. You're going to get, you know, you become a Connor McDavid around that way, a Sidney Crosby, a Vince Kim. Um, whatever Connor is doing well, uh, you get more with Bedal. So as the owners, you, you know what I mean? Like, I don't see any owners going to trade him or whatever it is. The the biggest question I would like to see with the next week with enough tap old people is like, which city it will be the most benefit for Bedal to play with? Is it Chicago? Is it Anaheim? Is it Columbus? Is it a Canadian team? You know what I mean? Like, that would be the biggest, you know, when a conversation, debate, we can bring on the table uh, about that. Which city, uh, which city would take, would be more benefit for the team and for the NHL, for the business side? Or it's no matter. Shannon no, mentioned what the best one he was in the charge of player safety. He was not going to give any uh, leeway to players. Uh, hey, coach, William Snyder knocked the door, uh, plays uh, my final alarm, passed my final alarm test today. Thanks uh, for the greatness you bring to us every day. Awesome, William. Congratulations. <laughs> William Snyder back in the house. <laughs> yeah, I think so, though, Francois. I agree with you about this. Uh, um, that's a, cut, a lot of money. Uh, me too. I don't want uh, 
that I prefer getting a third first round pick possibly to make smart or chance possible. You're absolutely right there. You won't get a third round pick high enough. Uh, uh, I would disagree, Rick. I think Montreal Canadiens are going to get a third round pick uh, um, like the 28, 29, 30, 31. Um, at some point at the trade deadline, Rick, and I'll be surprised. Uh, we already have two. Uh, yes, I go greatly across. I say, I'm sorry, Coach Grant Bedal uh, was asked uh, the question about Bedal to front them and the chat. If he did not stop the remark, he said no team with Bedal would trade that. Uh, so that went the little. Uh, the look on Saval's face was uh, priceless when the Blues score. It looked like a kid caught on the candy jar. <laughs> well, this is the second pair going to start, the guys. Uh, welcome back in the game. We're going to restart this. We're going to turn this. Uh, and the top drop the puck uh, a little bit behind, but it's okay. Not a big deal. Go back now and go and reset the period. Don't forget, guys, click on the likes. Uh, that'd be awesome. And that'd be good. The shot by the center blue, stop by Allen, recovery on the right side, battle on the wall. Montreal try to get back outside the zone and finally go back to Zuski. Love the puck. Zuski have only one point in the last eight game for the Montreal Canadiens. What a slump by Nick Zuzuki. Back and out in front of the bench. Send away attacking at 2 1. Sad right now at the back door. Great stick to save by Caulfield. Go back from Montreal. Get up now to the right side. Back to Carl. The dock. That's coming. Two assists back to Caulfield. Fire the puck, lose the puck completely. Puck to Mikhail out, recovery percentage blue in the toy zone. Lot the puck by uh, don't pay by shine, bring the puck behind the net. The cover survey, recovery puck, bring the puck to the board, back to Suski. Suski now skating with the puck at the blind. Suski now is coming to the red line, change the direction, dump the puck behind the goaltender. Bennington intercepts the puck uh, and drop the puck back uh, to the goal, uh, the defenseman, I think, is Rosen or uh, Santini. Honey out, the uh, army at don't pay puck at the right side, Bennington recovery behind the net. Uh, uh, by the Justin Falk, uh, pass the puck to the side, uh, a little bit too far for Rosen. Montreal going to recover, but that enough, return the puck to the D. Go back now, Emerson, pass the puck to Armia, lose the puck, neutral zone, reset by Saint Louis Blues, going to recovery on the D to D. Back now on defensive zone, reset by Montreal, can yeah, break away with that. Go back in the back door for Bennington, make a save, miss the puck. Uh, that play, uh, I don't know if it was uh, that enough, but anyhow, recovery by Montreal. On defense is on back to Saval, pass the puck to Dedena, pass the puck to Army at uh, Evans, pass the puck to Armia, attacking on the right side of Bennington, hold the puck a little bit longer at the goal line, turn around, come back at the dots, coming down from the net, shoot the puck, uh, and it be! I told you, I told you, one Joel Armia score one goal. He's not score seven after that. Uh, Joel Armia guy tie the game one to one. Wow. Hey, Joel Amia, tie the game at one to one for the Montreal Canadiens. Second goal and two game back to back. A second goal of the year, by the way, for Joel Amia. And that's what we got so far for this game at the Bell Center. One to one. I'm going to set up everything here, guys. Don't worry. We're going to recover uh, all the update in the next couple of seconds. One to one. Amia score is uh, for the Montreal Canadiens. A second of the year. A sit by maybe an uh, event. So we'll see. That enough, uh, Evans. Uh, go back now behind the net of Bennington. She's him now. Uh, and recovery by Kelly Rosen in front of the Devil Rack. Uh, turn around, keep control of the puck. Uh, she's in now by Sakoski. And then now pinched by Anderson. A great puck. The puck go uh, at the blind, uh, out of the play, out of the zone. Recovery by Whiteman to Jackai to Whiteman. Long such pass now in the offensive zone. Back now by Anderson. Attacking now. We are possibly offside. That's what we got the call for the linesman. We're going to set that right there. One to one between both teams, guys. The Montreal Canadiens tie the game.
Peter Graziano, to be of the year, uh, uh, gold season, can win the early this season, leave when the cup can change the, that jersey behind him to the blue, I believe, <laughs> Peter. <laughs> Go back now behind the net, pass pa pa it up, we have the puck on the board, and then a turnover. And go back to Kovacevic. Kovacevic last the point neutral zone, pinch the puck right there, recovery, pass the blue, turn around, and neutral zone. Set up now by Perinko. Pass the puck, DDD, set up now, and the neutral zone, tomping the puck neutral zone, and now the puck at bouncing in front of the bench, and then going to recovery, pass the blues. Uh, Lob the puck on the back end, so the puck bouncing back, uh, and recovery, pass the Montreal. Get up now, turn around by uh, Pass it up, is it up, turn check, uh, turn around, go back in front of the net, uh, shoot the puck, miss uh, the net completely, recovery, put the blues in the corner, hold the puck in front of Jonathan Drouin. Go back now, intercept by Pesada, keep control the puck, back to a uh, dock, fire puck, uh, black, miss the net completely, the puck bouncing back, but it's in the blues, uh, we go to recovery now. Uh, by the blues, going to reset DD, set up now, by Perenko, I believe, use the board, and the neutral zone, don't intercept by dock, return the puck to uh, Ziski, pass to Coffee, Coffee in a breakaway, shoot the puck, uh, break, say by Bennington, recovery now, by the center, believe, great speed by Caulfield uh, on the transition, go back by Sad, Sad, uh, one to one, uh, control the puck now on the back end, try the puck in front of the net, uh, the puck bouncing to the left side, and then send the return the puck to Ziski, Ziski use the board, pass the puck, uh, Intercept by uh, the center blues. Hold the puck now to the blind. And now bring the puck to the right. Left side, Jake Allen. Now go back behind the goaltender. Both side, but all on the right corner. And uh, then Montreal try to get back outside zone by Zinski. The puck go back uh, and battle with, uh, I think it was uh, Barbashev. But finally, Montreal going to use the board by Max uh, David Savard. Don't play puck in neutral zone. And uh, Falk return the puck. Intercept now by Savard behind the net. Uh, new plus coming for the Montreal Canadian. And the center blues. Uh, Barbashev in front of Jake Allen. Uh, Allen. And, and David Savard pass the puck to the right side, recovering now by the, um, I think it was, uh, what is Savard? Is this still in the ice? Shoot the puck right there, great stick up by that enough. Anyway, the puck go back on the neutral zone, uh, possibly a nice thing, going to be the call, and they're going to reset now on the defensive zone of Bennington with 15 minutes to go remaining, guys, on this period. Here we go. We we'll update everything here. The channel uh, run. I bet Bennington Mullet look uh, great on the win. Uh, here we go. Look like everybody talk about uh, the Minnesota take the lead two one now again. The Buffalo Sabers not the good news for the Montreal Canadiens. The lead tie the game one one uh, again Detroit, and this is not good news for Montreal. Montreal in a few minutes. Uh, they look in the, that good news for the honey out. They try to now. I'm just getting with the pocket. I'm just coming to fence. I'm here fly like Gila Fleur tonight. Uh, I'm here bringing part of the back door. In front of Jake Evans should have parked on the back door. No chance for that enough to recovery of an empty net. Uh, Bennington was uh, just uh, go a little bit too far. Thomas ran the pocket around the board. It just passed Santini, passed the park to the side to K. Rue, I believe. Now, don't be part of the blue recovery by Iris. Uh, Iris went out, bring it back to cover service on the other side. Adam, bring it back to Jake Evans. Don't play by neutral zone. Uh, Armia intercepted the park. Go back to Evans and return the park to Dan enough. Intercepted now by Rosen. Pass the park to uh, uh, near board. Now battle for the park in the left corner by cover service. Uh, battle the, with Jordan Iris. So we have four players right there. Five players in the right corner, Jake Adam. Now going to go back. Uh, and then recovery for the Montreal can you try to get back outside the zone to that enough uh, that enough now on the back end that enough keep country great move by that enough a uh, great shifty with the hands uh, if he can do that when he's sc scored it'll be better for the Montreal that enough right now pressure return the park to a cover service uh, pressure partisan with blues uh, and new plus coming for the Montreal Canadian that vitesse point guys at uh, that enough at 36.8 <laughs> miles per hour anyhow go back <laughs> <laughs> what is that? And <laughs> we know we have the stuff for the speed of the players on the ice. Uh, and that enough was the fastest one on the ice at 36.5. Go back now, position the blues in front of the bench. Uh, the, <laughs> the blue. I'm just laughing because now it's the speed of the player on the ice. Uh, I can imagine give some. Uh, Danny is the, uh, the officer on the ice. I uh, gave tickets. Uh, you cannot go over 30 miles per hour, guys. Uh, too dangerous, uh, anyhow. They go back on the right corner by Jake Evans. Uh, at the right corner by Jack uh, Jake Allen. Recovered by Jack I. Turn around. So we steal the puck. Go back in front of the net. Uh, and break away. He shoot the ball. Uh, turnover by Jack I. And uh, 
score. What a bad play by Jakai, a turnover. And that way, the Sun Blue take the lead 2 1. And I don't know if you see the play like me, the big gen player number 13 score. And uh, turn around that way over there. And uh, take the lead 2 1. Wow. Uh, it's Taponchenko, I believe his name. But that's happening. Turning up, uh, five uh, third by the Tartu Alar. Uh, go 60 likes. Uh, don't forget to uh, uh, need a veteran and a shot free agent with a short uh, term contract to play with Doc and but out like uh, Claude Giroux. Yeah. And that's not a bad thing. I don't know if Montreal is willing to do this right away. Um, but uh, I can understand your point of view about this one. Uh, 11 shot assist 13. And that's what we got so far. I think we have a penalty all the way. Kovacevic, uh, two minutes for O'King. It will be another penalty for the Montreal Canadiens. <laughs> Put him in jail. try to win the game but at the same time I want the losing straight to keep going for a few more game uh, Nat 2-1 uh, Nat welcome back uh, and Williams 2-1 uh, Toronto again Tavares uh, no uh, bossy flower not when the uh, blues 2-1 uh, here we go welcome back everybody and I'll go back on the defensive zone of the center we're going to recovery power play for the blues the second of the night uh, Go back, only one shot is on the power play. One, uh, go back to uh, Pujnevich, uh, return the puck to uh, Kiru, return the puck to Falk, uh, pass the puck to Thomas. Uh, Thomas uh, recovery puck at the wall, chase right now by the Warak, uh, won the puck in the corner, now battled by uh, the Montreal, love the puck defensively, uh, icing the puck to Bennington behind the net. Uh, 12 minutes to go, remaining second period, still at uh, 2 1 the Blues. Uh, Toro, Chenko, Torap, uh, Chenko score, assisted by Tyler Pitlick, uh, Pitlick, excellent Montreal Canadian last season. Uh, Play with the Senate Blues, number nine. Go back behind the net, battle by Thomas, recovery by Zuski, but now recovery by Kiro. The puck went the puck to the blue line, stop at the pie at Pochnevich, return the puck, a great save uh, by Zuski, return the puck to Amia, love the puck on the defensive zone of the Bennington behind. We set now by Thomas, chasing by Zuski. Uh, it's Justin Falk, battle with Zuski, go back in the corner. Zuski applies some pressure all the way back over there. Great play by Nick Zuski, joined by Josh Anderson. Turn around and go back by Sunday Blues. Zuski will now play the puck again. Blues, you should be out. And go find the way by the Blues going to reset on defensive zone with 35 seconds remaining. Another bad play by Falk, intercept by Anderson. It's coming on from the net. Turn around to the puck. Oh, what a play by the. And now a penalty for the 
Patterson, who's blue. What a bad play by Justin Falk uh, at six, seven minutes per year. And we got the call from Jean Hood, the, the referee. And that eliminate guys the first uh, power, the second power play of the St. Louis Blues. Uh, wow. Montreal is going to get a first power play of the game. About about what one 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 twenty maybe. Uh, can you please uh, who Ovenskin for Red Hockey team is? Uh, can you guess who Ovenskin for Red Hockey team is? Uh, not for me. High coach sport friend is in the house. We have to pit lick Empire last year. Yes, Francois and Koivula not said much. Uh, why are there are playing white men in center? Baron uh, King is a great question. I don't know. Too many uh, rookies maybe in the lineup. I don't know. Um, don't forget, guys, to click on the like. It will be very difficult tonight. Uh, Antico Evil, um, welcome board. Uh, KK, what? To open it, slap in around. <laughs> okay. About that one there. Should have park in there. So we're going to play four versus four for 20 seconds. Go back now for Dead Enough. Uh, dead Enough on the blind. Hold the pipe. Drive the pipe behind it. Slap by Edmondson. Edmondson at the goal line. Put the pipe behind the net. Uh, Go back on the site. Uh, I don't know what Emerson is on four versus four, by the way. But that's another subject. Uh, go back now on the draw zone. Set up now by the Sunny Blues. Uh, go back now by uh, the Park. Uh, the save by Adam. Recovery by Rosen. Return the park behind the net. Uh, 120 power play for the Montreal Kennedy and uh, Emerson on the power play. Wow. Now, the new players coming for both teams. For the Montreal Canadiens, drop by Emerson. Leave the puck with that. Draw the puck to Caulfield. Caulfield's coming out in front of Sad. Draw the puck to Zizki. Zizki at the goal line. At the blue line. He's coming out the red line. And now kick out to Caulfield at the blue line. Keep on out skating puck. Return the puck to the line. Set up now by uh, Drouin, I believe. Uh, or Drouin to Caulfield. Caulfield hold the puck a little bit more. Back to Drouin. Drouin back to Doc at the wall. Doc return the puck to, Caulf to Drouin. To Caulfield. Fire the puck! Hey, the puck go out of the play. About that one over there. After a fire puck of the Montreal Canadiens, uh, Nick Zuz uh, Cole Carfield. Uh, zero shots on the power play for the St. Louis Blues on the power play. And then uh, Montreal uh, just putting the puck over on the net. Uh, thanks so much for everybody for the likes tonight. So was it shocks uh, all the team. I would not have that team. Uh, uh, yeah, maybe he liked the the shocks that uh, go back now. Those one Calvin fire black shot by again by a bear go back to Caulfield. That was the puck and the neutral zone set up by the one play back with five forward on the power play for the Montreal Canadian. Back to Zuski at the blind coming to the red line. Zuski attacking now. Kick out the puck back to Zuski. Go back and out at the one. The one back to a uh, dog. Ducks turn around. Keep that puck at the wall with 20 seconds to go. Remaining a power play back to the one. Go back to dock. Doc now is coming. Back at the, at the Warrack. Hold the pipe to the goal line. Now the Warrack hold the pipe. Back to Doc. Go back to the one. The one at the blue line. Hold the pipe in there. Shoot the pipe. Tip by the rack. Recovering for Suzuki. Shoot the puck. Big save by Bennington. And Suzuki couldn't do anything about that. What a save by Bennington. What a play by the Warrack and uh, Suzuki. This, we don't see this a lot of time. That's why you use your bumper and you use your the guy in the middle of the eye for the power play. And what a chance for the Montreal Canadiens. And we have to give credit for Bennington on that one to make a big save on Nick Zussi. The captain Zussi have only one point in the last eight games. We're going to reset now with 12 seconds to go remaining on this power play. And the right side of Bennington, Jake Evans is on the eyes. Reset by Center Blues. Lump the puck. Win the battle of the face up and go back on defensive zone and we're going to be Evan strength zero one one for Montreal Canadian tonight on power play back to Saval pass the puck in front of the bench on Montreal don't be puck on the right side she's even up by dead enough throw the puck by Armia Armia but now right now on the right side St. Louis is going to be Evan strength we're going to go five to five we turn around behind the net reset by Montreal don't be puck behind the corner of Bennington left side St. Louis love the point into the zone the puck bouncing back. Uh, no icing. Going to recover by the veteran. Joel Edmondson, 29 years old. As his third year with a Montreal Canadian. That didn't have to try to get a puck. No chance. Turn around. The puck bouncing between both teams. Uh, um, Sarkisie loved the puck in defense zone. Chasing the puck. Uh, recovery by Mikola. Uh, behind the net. They're going to set up the breakout. Uh, Montreal at 1 2 2. Go DDD. Back in Perinko. Perinko to Mikala. Don't play the puck by the center of the Blues. Behind the net. Set up now by uh, Iris on the back end. Draw the puck to Sarkowski. Return the puck to Iris. Iris went out. Draw the puck to Kovacevic. Chasing by Shen. Back to Iris. Iris left the puck neutral zone. And from the bench, recovery by Anderson. Puck bouncing back to Sarkowski. Finally, the puck out of the play. We're going to reset now with 
8 11 to go remaining guys on this period TV time out. Not much change here. King asked uh, one way. I expect them in February. They just put uh, money on. It's not ready at 100%. They want for him to be ready at 100%. Gallagher, two weeks. Uh, I will expect him um, at three for Montreal about the February 10 to 20. Uh, if I have to predict something, um, King for the Montreal Canadian. Uh, I go out go for Jeffrey Corn. And then, bah, c'est Montreal mérite la victoire. On est à Montréal. On donne les blues. Mais les résultats n'est pas là, mon Bassy Flowers. And uh, yeah, uh, let's go. Randy, uh, Sabres lead 3 uh, 2. Let's see what happened around the lead, guys. Uh, uh, around, uh, first of all, the Toronto Maple Leafs take the lead to 1. The Saber 4 to 2. 4 to 2 for the Sabres. The Kraken now 4 to 3. The Kraken, uh, the, the Ottawa Senator come back with 2 goals for Suzla. 16 17. And the Blues winning 2 to 1. There we go. You got all the info about the league. You can check this uh, at the right corner, right there. The score about the NHL. A new uh, setup uh, graphic here tonight. Uh, we give up, uh, you know, a little bit more, put up a little bit more better to see you guys uh, what's going on. And, uh, and then that's happening. Anyhow, go back to Montreal Canadian. Should have parked in front of the net. make a save with a glove, no rebound. Go back on the right side of Bennington. We're going to reset that with a little bit uh, less or eight minutes to go remaining, guys, on this period between the Montreal Canadiens and the uh, St. Louis Blues. Uh, not many shots uh, so far this is this game. Uh, Carson, yeah, fantasy team. Uh, I love this kid, Carson. Uh, what a great uh, DC. My early question, uh, uh, Randy, hopefully you're doing well. Fun fact, if a player just shake his head and disagreement with a call, he can be called for a penalty. Um, yeah. Go back now, but since Blues don't play a park on the right side, Jake Allen, no face, no ice scene. And go back, probably Blues, hold the park, draw the park behind the net, put Brandon side on the right side. Adam, bring the in front of the net, that Bob Michelle will carry park, bring the park there at the line. The park bouncing back out of the play, out of the zone, going to recover, probably Blues, going to set up the breakout, the back again, but sad, sad between both defensemen coming on the right side. Great recovery by the defenseman, the Montreal Canadian, him almost got caught on that one. Uh, they'll go back now. Montreal can got a stick in the face by Kirby Dock, I believe. Now go back on the right side by Center Blues. Uh, we have ice stick, I believe. And we'll be uh, here for the call. Is it a two minute or four minute? Uh, we have a call for the Leisman. Now we have a review for the referee, and I'm going to get that penalty. I stick. And Montreal is going to be back on the power play for the second time at this period. Don't forget that William McClary could be four. Yeah. Will be interesting to see that. Uh, don't forget, guys, to click on the likes. 72 people, 48 likes. Uh, we need more likes. Uh, we're getting under culture. I love Buffalo. Uh, thank you. You're welcome. We are, not, we are on the fine. Figure out if it's a four minute or a two minutes. Uh. <laughs> Two minutes. 
uh, two minutes only for the penalty. Power play number two for the Montreal Canadian. Only one shot. Uh, Barbashev is going to be on the penalty box. Uh, Barbashev, uh, number 49. Uh, I thought uh, only coach, you know me, and I'll tap. Uh, um, um, I don't know. Honey, I'll go back now on the power play for the Montreal Canadian. Uh, Salut, Simon Deschaines. Comment tu vas, mon Simon? De retour avec nous ce soir. So, four minutes now. We got four minutes now on the penalty. Looked like he was changed now by the TV. I don't know what's going on. Doc is fine. Devorak, uh, Caulfield, Suzuki on the ice. Hold the puck while the back, but Justin Falk don't pin the puck in neutral zone. And the puck go back as chasing went out by the Montreal Canadian. And then the center blues. Suzuki lose the, the battle, well, win the battle uh, with Pucinevich. Uh, recovery by Caulfield. Caulfield to the blue line. Caulfield hold the puck, pass the puck to uh, Doc, pass the puck to the other side. Recovery to Pucinevich in front of Pucinevich. Suzuki now on the red line. Keep the puck for himself in neutral zone. Don't pin the puck on there. Justin Falk intercept. Mikhail right now the back end. Bring the puck to Pucinevich. Go back at the line. Set up now by Montreal Canadian. Hold the puck now. Back the puck to uh, Doc. Pass the puck all the way back. Uh, who is at the blue line? Set up by Drouin. Drouin's coming back to Doc. Uh, back at the goal line to the right. To Suzuki. Should have played Coffin. Scoot. Miss the net. Go back to the side. Coffin missed an empty net, I believe. What a play by Dewarak. And that's what we're looking for. Paul Play guys. The puck movement between Dewarak and Suzuki. And uh, uh, Doc. And uh, wow, what a play, man. Uh, by Drouin. Pass the puck to Suzuki now. Suzuki's coming. Pass the puck to Coffin. Fire puck. Uh, black shot uh, by Mikola. I believe recovery by the Blues. Now the puck in the zone. Wow. Why the book? Uh, this is a good power play for the Montreal Canadiens, and uh, they still have 2:54 to go on the power play. Uh, I like what I saw for the power play. First time for many games we don't see, we saw a puck movement and a great opportunity for Montreal. Go back now by Anderson attacking out unit number two. Anderson to the goal line, change direction at the dot. Bring the puck to Sakaski. Back it back to Arbor. Back to Sakaski. Pass the puck to the right side. Hold the puck right now. We have Armian Fanninet with uh, with. Um, with that enough, lose the puck by that enough. What a bad play by that enough, uh, guys. Uh, whew. We're going to see Pussy with that enough, uh, but, uh, you know, I don't know why they use that enough. Uh, someone can come tell me something about that. Anyhow, back to Anderson. Controlling an offensive zone. Anderson now the, at the goal line, or at the other wall, bringing puck all the way back to Armia. Armia hold the puck in front of shine, turn around with two minutes to go remaining on the power play. Go back now by Armia. Hold the puck again. More chance all the way back. Cannot do what to do. Back to Arbor. Arbor pass the puck to Sakaski. Back to Armia. Armia now control the puck again. Back again to Dadenov. Dadenov chase the puck in front of the net. They'll go back to Senate Blue. Don't put the puck. And again, another bad play by the Montreal Canadian. Unit number two does not work. We're going to add number one. Rick set now. Recovery now by the net by Arbor. Arbor hold the puck a little bit more. Drop the puck behind it. Set up now. Drop the puck to Drouin. To win out, keep the puck. Uh, two shots on power play for Montreal. Zone, the first uh, power play, the four minute. Uh, go back to uh, Ski, drive the puck now on the left side. Keep the puck right side to Caulfield. Caulfield go back to the back door. Recovery by the left side. By the wall rack. Hold the puck, go line. Return the puck to the line. Set up now by Caulfield. Caulfield is coming down. Caulfield now hold the puck. Back to the one. To win out at the, at the wall. At, at the blue line. Go back now. Uh, the return should the puck in front of the net. The puck bouncing back as soon as he's going to get out of the zone. Intercept by Suzuki. Return the puck to uh, Doc. Doc battle for the puck of the wall with one minute to go remaining on the power play of the four minute. Uh, the Doc have definitely finally Montreal going to get. Carfield all the puck. Uh, it's coming up at the one. Try the puck to Suzuki. It's coming, it's coming down. Fire puck. Uh, the, uh, the post will maybe stop by Benetton with the blocker. Go back outside. Stop at the one. They're going to reset. Uh, the one set up. Uh, pass the puck right side to uh, Suzuki. Back again to Caulfield. Go back to the right side. Recover the puck, Caulfield. Hold the puck at the blind by Doc. And Doc to return the puck to Zuski. Hold the puck. Uh, back to the, the, the Warrack. Hold the puck back to Zuski. Zuski had the dots. Uh, at this coming down. Back to the Doc. Shoot the puck. Uh, and Kirby Doc score his first goal since the last 25 game. Kirby Doc on the power play. And we tie the game 2 2. What a goal by the Montreal Canadian. Kirby Doc. Uh, and that's what we got now. And the Montreal Canadiens tie the game 2 2.
Wow, Montauk getting in a tidy game. Gurby Dock on power play. Gave that uh, tidy game 2 2. And now Sunny Wetak again. Black shot by the Montauk in the net. They're set up now on the left side. We're going to recover all the way back on defensive zone by the Montauk Canadian. Try to get outside the zone. And then uh, turn around by the Blues. They're going to find a way to get it back, back on the defensive zone behind Bennington. Play the puck all the way back over there. Kid control the puck over there. Was the clock a coach? The coach is coming. Bennington is making another save in front of Jake Evans. Go to go back on the right side. Of Jake Evans, but all behind the net by Mikela, ran the puck on the board, intercepted by Saval, but finally said we don't pin the puck on the defensive zone. Montreal Canadiens go back a DD setup now by Montreal Canadiens. Three minutes to go remaining on this second period. Emerson hold the puck now. Emerson pass the puck to Saval. Saval attacking now. Don't pay puck behind goaltender Bennington. Intercept now, ran the puck on the board. New plus coming from Montreal Canadiens. Almia, that enough. Uh, on the ice, uh, go back by the center blues. The puck bouncing back, reset by Arbor, but I seen by the blues uh, after they hit Jonathan Drouin, I believe. And uh, look like Drouin is going to be fine, but uh, he got a puck in the face, I believe. I'll go to reset now. And that's what happening. Montreal Canadian guys uh, tie the game 2 2. And the uh, goal of Kirby Dock uh, is second. Of, uh, second. Not a second, but it's going to be is. Uh, <clears throat> Going to set up. Six of the year. I said by Suzuki, one point, and they were wreck. Uh, I was glad to see that. Uh, they were wreck. I have an assist on that one. There we go. I'm going to reset, reset, reset everything to two. Penalty again for the St. Louis Blues. For Isaac, Montreal Kennedy going to return on the power play for the third time. And we have one goal. And it's going to be four right now. That's what we got so far. Thanks so much for us with us tonight. There we go, Giroud. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Thanks for being with us. We're coming from Montreal, Canada. At the blind, we're done by the one. The one return the park to coffee. We return now to ski at the dots at the wall. Come back now, hold the park back to the one. The one is coming now. Back to ski at the dots. At the, uh, go back to the rack and find the net. Uh, no chance for Doc. Uh, Chase it by Carfield. Carfield try back to Doc. Uh, return the park to the one. The one walk in the middle. The one hold the park a little bit more. Back to uh, the uh, the ski. Change the direction. Change the place with the one. Go back to, to shoot the park. Uh, Rebound behind the net, reset by the Warrack, and return the puck to Carfield. Carfield set up the ski, pass the puck to Dwayne, Dwayne to the uh, to the circle, 
the one now hold the puck a little bit more. Go to the puck to the ski, back to Carfield. Carfield did not to the ski. Go back to the one, shun the position with the one. Go back to Carfield. Carfield now hold the puck at the wall. Back to the one. Fire puck, black shot, and rebound. Bennington make a save, rebound to the side. We have a whistle, and uh, no call after that. Uh, uh, in front of they were rack, uh, and Bennington make a save. Uh, and that's got the Montreal and the shot uh, on the wall, on the net uh, tonight. 20 shots uh, for the Montreal Canadiens. Uh, I would a bit like what. Uh, si on veut repasser, on doit aller plus bas. Montreal Canadien on the power play. Fais ça, Winnie, par Montreal Canadien. Back to the one. Get to the ski. One minute to go. The ski now, back to the one. The one walking a little bit more. Back to the ski now, skating. Now, chant with the one. They go too high. Fire by Dwayne. Black shot by Bennington. No rebound. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. They don't get it. They don't get it on Paul Creek. They move the puck up. They have to go to the wall. I don't know why they don't understand that. It's like 101 hockey. Um, I don't know. They, 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 they cannot watch Vancouver and the power play and the Tampa Bay Lightning power play, how this works. Go back now. So we win the face off. Don't play the puck behind the net of the island with 40 seconds to go remaining on the power play. Set up now by Montreal. By skating with the puck at the one. Drive the puck to the ski one more time. She's scared the blinds. Coming to the red line. She's ski now kick out, kick out the puck a little bit too far for a dog. Recovery behind. Go back at the blind. Back the one. Hold the puck now. Return the puck to the ski. Look, the ski. It's the one. It's so bad. How, how is this kid cannot get it on that one over there? They play high. Unbelievable. One minute to go remaining on this power play. On this period, go back to the one. It's coming now. Shoot the puck. Back to the cockfield. And just now, percent blues. Evans, uh, five seconds to go. Going to be an even strength. And we're attacking now. Hold the puck now. The blind. Now, keep the puck. Turn around. And turn around by the Montreal Canadiens. Set up by Caulfield. Caulfield, drive the puck behind. Set up by Montreal. They go to a set now by uh, David Saval. With 35 seconds to go remaining, guys, on the power play for uh, the second period. Evans throwing right now. Montreal did have two shots on this power play only. But what a bad play by Zizuki and the one at the blue line. Go back now. Send all the puck. Uh, show the puck by Thomas. Uh, uh, let the puck go out of the plate. I'm going to set now on the left, right side of Jake Allen. Uh, but again, guys, not me being negative here, but you cannot score the puck at 65 feet. Like, you cannot. <laughs> it's just not make sense to me. Uh, but it looks like uh, they know what they are doing, right? It's all right. Go back now on defensive zone. The center blue recovery park. Don't pay point in front of the bench. On Matoise, come in on the defensive zone. Hold the park pass out. Shoot the park. The park go behind Savard. The park bouncing back in the corner. And it's going to be the end. Here we go, guys. The second period is over between the Matoise Canadian and the center blue. We have a little bit more action during the second period. We have three goals. Uh, First of all, the Montreal Canadian uh, tied the game one to one tonight. Joel Armia scored a second goal back to back game, a second of the year. Evans had that enough and assist. Then at 6 59, uh, Tor Torap Chenko scored a second of the year, assisted by uh, Taylor Pitlick and Alexandrov. Finally, uh, Kirby Dock on the power play at 16 15, scored assisted by Suzuki at Drouin. And that gave guys the final score after two periods, 2 2 between the Blues and the Montreal Canadian. We're going to set up now those information here. And to be sure we get the right plot, the right spot there. 20. Go back over there. We're going to give you all the update for the stats uh, for sure. Uh, 13 shot versus 21. 0214 58 uh, 42. Don't forget, we have a post game tonight. Uh, 
If you want to talk about the game with us, don't hesitate to join me live after the game. We're going to talk about what happened between Montreal Canadiens and St. Louis Blues. Montreal still at the game uh, <clears throat> at this moment. If you want to see Montreal Canadiens, guys, uh, of course, I have more information here. Uh, Montreal Canadiens uh, stats. Uh, Montreal Canadiens, guys, after a two period that won a tie, they are 6 to 1 since the beginning of the season and uh, won the opening scoring by opening team. They are 6, 18, and 0 since the beginning of the season. So I just want to share with you some information. Uh, don't forget, guys, uh, Mr. Yamo Vartanen knocked the door. Um, Salut à Jean, hier, yeah, de uh, Joël Armia, 2023. Uh, I heard the uh, flame one Anderson for Montreal. What do you flame have to give? Make this happen. Uh, Michael uh, Katrinek, uh, next year, line up with uh, no backage. Kofinski, uh, Doc, Mezal, Beck, Sakoski, uh, Richard, Kitney, Roy, Davidson, Evan, Gendon, Gallagher. Wow. Uh, not really uh, Michael, uh, but you know, uh, I will give you an example. Uh, Mayu, uh, no. Uh, Hudson is not going to play. He still play in NHL and NCAA. Uh, Gaydon is never going to make the NHL right now. Gitna is not going to make sure. Rua is going to be a Laval. Davidson is going to be a Laval. Um, Messal is going to be in uh, Laval. Uh, maybe Beck, the, all the names you mentioned this about. Mayu is going to be a Laval. Uh, no, Mayu is going to be in the OHL next season. Now, for sure, right hand defense. Logan Mayu back from a suspension score. score. Uh, do you think Mayu will be ready next year for the jump in the NHL? No, uh, King of Gamer. Um, he did not play for over 18 months in, in hockey, so he would have to wait one more year. Cello is putting pressure on the flame and Oilers. Uh, Mezal get uh, an assist tonight, Rick. Uh, Awesome. Uh, and for now, we can call our um, first name or Joppe. Joppe. Renault, can Joshua what make the lineup next year? No, Renault. I don't see that. Uh, thanks for the feedback. You're welcome, Michael. Pleasure. Don't forget that. Uh, welcome. First time, I believe you're not. Uh, welcome back if you are. Uh, don't forget to click on the like guy and subscribe to our Canadian Live Show. Three years for Mayu. Rick and Bengal. Um, yeah. It's not a bad call, Rick. Um, yeah, I think I would be agree with you, Rick, on that one. Pierre Martin, welcome in the house. Welcome in the Hockey Nation Show. Thanks so much. Pierre Martin. Thanks to be with us. That enough nickname is Daddy Nav. Uh, Daddy Nav. <laughs> about that one over there for sure. Uh, what's going on around the league, guys? Let's see what we have right now. Uh, first of all, the Toronto Maple Leaf come back with a lead 2 to 1 against the Detroit Red Wings. The Sabre holding the Minnesota 4 to 3. The Kraken come back 5 to 3 now. Uh, what a night. Matt, Matty Bernie, 14 goal of the season. The Blues 2 2. And that's what we got, the guys. Uh, four game in action. Afternoon, the Columbus Blues got get to beat the Carolina 4 3 and over time. And then we have early game. The Devils beat the Rangers 4 3 and uh, over time. Uh, Zeverson score and over time. Jespin Pratt, the score for the Devils tonight. Uh, Jack Hughes, uh, uh, 25 goal this year. 26 goal for Jack Hughes. Unbelievable year he has uh, for them. For the New York Rangers, uh, Vesey and Gochi got and greater for them. And that's what we got there. Everybody on the second period. Uh, bonjour, John Nicholson. Welcome aboard. Uh, Dan Asham uh, about that. Uh, and then all of the Colorado. Interesting uh, game tonight. Try to stay awake. Uh, yes, Yamo. Will be interesting. Oh, did you? Uh, did you? Your parents also love hockey much. You are. Uh, yeah, my dad was involved in hockey all his life. He was really most a uh, scout. He coached. Uh, he coached me at uh, young age, and then he was just scout for the junior team in the Shawinigan. At the time, it was called the Bruins, the Shawinigan Bruins. And uh, when I was little, 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 uh, the coach was Claude Dalbec. Michel Briard was living with us. Uh, uh, 
first overall pick by the Pittsburgh Penguins in 1970, 69, 70, 71? No, Lafleur 71. And he, he got killed in the accident car. And um, Michel Briard. Anyhow, uh, Yamo, all those kind of game will uh, be nice for sure. Bonsoir, Mr. Tap, uh, Saber, uh, Doc Orson, William Snyder. Uh, coach, uh, the Army of Goat was uh, actually very nice. Yeah, it was a great uh, T-shirt. Genet, de retour avec nous ce soir. Ça fait longtemps qu'on ne peut pas parler, mon monsieur Genet. Merci d'être avec nous ce soir. A uh, great, uh, great shot uh, from the, the, you know, it was the way he did it. But my point is, he was battle for the wall, for the wall, protect the puck, cut from the middle to the dots. We, we like to play so cut from the dots, low, and then he did that, and then he great release above the glove, uh, the or below or the over the glove. I like uh, Justin Gill with the Sherbrooke. I should draft him for round, uh, Rick Bengal said about that. Don't forget, guys, to click on the like. That would be awesome. For everybody, guys, we appreciate everything. Uh, it was a short, slight shot in a tap. On ne pas les likes, les amis coach. Merci beaucoup, mon Pierre Martin. We're going to be at TV Time Out here, guys. And uh, we might be the first one of the night, so... Don't go nowhere. I'll be back. You made my day. You made my day. You made my day. Oh, day. Oh. You made my day. You made my day. You made my day. Oh, day. Oh. Princess, I'm mine.
Welcome back. <laughs> Sorry about that. We have a, an air through here. There we go. We are back for the third prayer. We're going to start very soon. 2-2 Two -two at the Bell Center tonight between the Montreal and the St. Louis Blues. Uh, that's what happened right now. Don't forget, guys, to click on the like. That'd be great. Uh, thanks so much, everybody, to be a part of the show. This is Chad. Bonsoir, the Chad. Yana, uh, Yamo talk in the chat. There will also be an answer and a tap. Um, two, three years. I love his game. Uh, what a uh, play visit that to check char for him. The similar. Oh, the Minnesota tied the game, guys, 4 4 at 29 seconds at the beginning. This will be a high score ring between the Sabres and the Minnesota Waller. The Minnesota don't give up. Uh, Daniel Lacombe, uh, salut, la gagne. Daniel Lacombe, bienvenue dans la maison de Hockey Michel Show. Thanks to be with the hockey. Don't forget to click sur le petit pouce en haut. Uh, Daniel, uh, St. Michel Briard, 44 point uh, rookie season. Six eight was a great start. Could be a score more, 20 ball more goal the next season. Uh, yeah, Renault. It was an amazing uh, thought on that. Every answer. Really interesting players with him. I don't know um, it, what he's going to become, but uh, I, I think he is under radar. I don't think so. They pay too much attention about him around the the, the expert that on the areas. Coach of my new year promise is that I don't eat too much uh, to the tuna, but I already was on the gel. Yeah, it's not a good start to go there at uh, the beginning of the year, 2023. I thought I was going to get there yesterday, but our friend Jose had a really bad night yesterday. So, uh, oof. When I go, I don't go to jail, life is good. Uh, new jail uh, food would be uh, B-Mac and cheese, uh, Luciano. Here we go. We're going to start the third pair very soon. We'll wait for the backdrop and we'll see uh, what we are around the league. And uh, not much start. 5-3 uh, uh, now. The Kraken again. Ottawa Senator. That's the only chance we got here. I'm just checking if we are good on the stats. Uh, hit 13-9, uh, 14-10. There we go. 9 o'clock p.m. Uh, don't forget, guys. Uh, tonight is uh, what we're going to play next week. Uh, uh, again, in Nashville for the survey is new news for me as a insurance for me. I new news for me, sir. Uh, not much. Uh, try to grow the channel, not easy, but um, that's pretty much my focusing. It consists to increasing the best we can here at the Hockey News Show. If we get the, uh, you know, we just passed the 6,000, but we don't have more uh, viewers. That's a big problem we got there. Alexandra or Alexandra 28. Uh, I miss her. Uh, back to uh, every A's um, uh, playing the OHL, by the way. Uh, never be draft. Uh, it's a small player, so very fast, uh, very shifty, good hands. And um, I think he's going to be a good asset for. I think he got trade, I think, a couple of days ago, something like that, if I can make it. Uh, but you never been a draft. Like I said, he's on the radar. Nobody watching really what or did they get him a chance. A couple of players like that, guys, uh, they never paid those kind of draft uh, of a slave, but it, they produce a lot. Uh, and the witch, I think, have 23 goals this year. Uh, about that. Uh, match, uh, match with every hand, uh, Ricky said. I know, I know a better copy and a tap pick now. I know, who did you like my question? Uh, better love play with uh, Joshua. What? Fac, Pierre Martin. 
Un renault succès c'est euh, The bad gate was the WHL a uh, one of the eight points for the goals so much easier que NHL. You have to write about this, uh, Renault, for sure. Nam Tall is in the house. That song has so much uh, auto turning. It's almost uh, laughable. Uh, there you go. Pedal Pro Rick. Uh, yeah. This is straight for him from Hamilton. Don't forget to click on the like. Oh, and it's likely going to be like to be a center. But Turbo is going to be a really a big team. Why well, big team? It's going to be a, an interesting team to follow. The OHL, one of the top three best team, I think. I'm going to start the third pair very soon, guys. We're going to turn around all stats. That's where we got that. Um, hello, the man. Uh, yes, he is. Uh, don't forget, guys, to click on the like. That'd be awesome. We have 58 likes for 58 people. Uh, we have one like per person. Montreal is one and four on power play, a zero and two on the for the silver blues. Well, in the server, I have no defense. Uh, merci beaucoup, mon Pierre. Where is Memorial Cup uh, and the WHL? Is it Kiluna? I think it is Kiluna. Kamloops. I second that is Kamloops. Sorry about that. Go back now on the defense season. Montreal can is going to do this. Back to Iris. Return the park to cover service. Return the park to right side to Carfield. Carfield in the zone. Carfield down the park on the defense season of Bennington. Reset. Return the park to Nikola. Recovered by Montreal and the behind the net. But Shin. Shin going to recover your pocket. Turn around. Left side. Hit him. Cole Caulfield. A turnover. A Caulfield score. And the Montreal Canadiens take the lead. 3 to 2 at the Bell Center. What a turnover. A Caulfield score for the Montreal Canadiens. It's 3 to 2. Woo! Woo! Wow, what a bad play by the defenseman of the St. Louis Blues. Uh, but first of all, Shane behind the net, and then the Montreal Canadian take advantage of the turnover by Suzuki uh, back to uh, Caulfield's coffee score again for the Montreal Canadian. That gave him, uh, obviously, uh, 23rd um, of the year. And uh, 50 goals of his career, by the way, for the Montreal Canadian, Nick Suzuki. And that's what we got right now. Uh, with 1854 to go remaining on this period. Nick Zuski, guys, uh, uh, opened the score for the Montreal Canadian. Set by uh, Zuski here. Three. Will they get there? Garfield. 23. Set by 14. That's what we got so far. Go back now. Defense is on the same with Blues. Uh, attacking now by Michaela. When the puck on the board, Montreal can even take the lead at the first minute of the third period. Now, St. Louis attacking now. Kick out the puck and no icing. Pass the puck to the right side to Sander. Uh, sad, bring the blind. Holding by uh, 
Falk should have packed Adam McKessay, rebound on the left side, but recovery by Celebrity uh, had taken a fire pack. Um, Adam McKessay back on the left side, recovery by uh, Edmondson, uh, save the situation. Go back now by Armia, and don't play a pack, uh, pass it, I see, Bedmington make a save, and to set a pack on the left side, go past the part to the D. Pick up now by Justin Falk in front of the bench uh, on the right side. Uh, the Jake Allen, don't play a pack, uh, recovery by Allen, pass the pack now to Edmondson, return the pack to Saval. New plus coming for the Saint Louis Blues, and that's what we got so far since the beginning of this game. Montreal Canadian three, the Saint Louis Blues uh, two. Canada Montreal pick up two more points tonight. Uh, not good, but you know it is what it is. Uh, cannot uh, lose all the game. Go back to that enough. Uh, Should have park and missed the net completely. Park bouncing back to under the side. Recovery by Saint Louis Blues uh, coming out on the neutral zone at the red lines coming off and zone on the right side. Uh, Jake Allen uh, don't play pipe uh, at. Uh, Topo Chenko recovery behind the net. Uh, Shulipa in front and front. Uh, recovery by Sunny Blue. Shulipa rebound in the boot. The Sunny Blue tie the game. This time is Alexandrov. The four line for the Blues uh, have a really good game against the Montreal Canadian uh, tonight. Sunny Blues uh, score again a, a shot at the point. Uh, nobody wants to pay the price. Uh, Pitlicks uh, again pass in front of the net. Uh, and then nobody in front of the net again. Uh, Tupla does not want to pay the price, and then it was a Pesada Richard, I believe that would be it. And uh, yeah, a recovery of the right uh, white man is on the ice on that goal, uh, and the tie the game at 3 3. Of course, three for the Montreal Canadian. Uh, Alexandrov score <coughs> for the St. Louis Blues. And we have a new game again. Tie the game 3 3. Like I mentioned to you guys, uh, Alexandrov uh, at 2.29, first goal in NHL for the young men. Congratulations for the young men. Hosen have an assist on that one over there. Go back now on the defensive zone. Now Pesada go back for another penalty. Pesada, here we go. Pesada again. Pesada again, another penalty. Power play number three for the Blues are zero and two so far. Wow. I was not that bad. I don't know what they call that penalty. 17 minutes to go remaining on this third period between both teams. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget to click on the like. That'd be awesome. Uh, Mr. Larry Lavelli is in the house. Uh, we won tonight. Uh, Larry, thanks to be with our Kenny Show. Sure, don't forget, guys, to click. Rents uh, you should be at score. Uh, Petco. Petco. Welcome aboard. And then, Francois, that's it. That's not that. Well, that's what's fast, uh, Francois. William McClary, uh, we're serving the hour, so that, uh, I don't see one time, but can't do it there. go back and learn. Justin Falk buys the puck, now hold the puck a little bit more. Or back to uh, Kiro, back to Thomas. Thomas coming down. Thomas hold the puck, drop to uh, Falk by the right side. A little bit pass play, but shoot the puck, block shot, and funny net. I don't make any save. Don't pin the puck by the motor, Canadian. We're going to go back, all the way back, uh, Larry. Uh, Green Valley, as for the ad, the win tonight. Uh, uh, and uh, losing straight, I hope. Uh, Larry uh, Lavalley, our friend, um, Adam Berger, Larry, live there. He's a teacher at the high school, Green Valley, uh, Larry. So you are in Vegas? I thought you was in Tixon and Tucson. Um, but maybe as high school is the city, maybe you live at the Grand Valley. That's maybe it's fun. So okay, it's a work in progress at Petco. Martin said we want to get him. I stand learning. And he said, oh, what's he not there? And that's what we got so far. And now Saint Louis attacking now behind the net. Uh, I tried to reading at the same time. It was going on the ice. Uh, go back now by uh, Saint Louis Blues. Uh, going back at uh, blind, but Thomas coming on the back door. A little bit loud to push uh, uh, Nevich. Uh, return now. Hold the puck a little bit more. Turn around. Hold the puck to the one for the Jake Evans. Uh, they said the goal line uh, returning by Kiro. Uh, not Kiro. Go back to um, to Thomas. Thomas coming down. Thomas draw the puck to Falk. Falk coming now. On the right side, Shen de Bouchon. Go back at the goal line, playing funny net. Uh, we're back here at Pochnevich uh, at a goal on the power play goal. And the Sunny Blues guys uh, score. Pesada again. 
my cold pesada. I had people tell me, no, 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 he, he's good, he's good, he's good, pesada. Yeah. Second penalty of the night. Uh, then uh, they take advantage of the power play. Butch Nevich has scored for the Senate Blues. Uh, and that way, the Blues uh, take the lead four to three. Two goals in the first four minutes uh, of the third period for the Senate Blues, uh, unfortunately. It is what it is. Uh, go back now on the other side. Uh, looking for him, uh, not found him yet. Uh, Google, uh, welcome aboard, Google. Thanks for video hockey nation live show, Google. Long time we didn't see you. Uh, coach, is this key overrated? Uh, would you trade him? Not allow PM I think I would keep him. Uh, I look like great. Uh, wow, the wild come back, guys. Five to four. Uh, looking for him, not found him yet. Uh, all three uh, are you kidding me, Real? Uh, I maybe go to the bed, uh, Real. <laughs> The wild 5 4. Wow. Uh, a lot of chance right now in the NHL. We're going to see what we got here. Uh, the wild 5 4. The Toronto 2 1. Very bad night for the Motor Canadian. Uh, for 6 3. The Kraken for Ottawa. The winner of the night, guys, is going to be the, is going to be the Florida Panthers. Uh, for that part over there. Go back now behind the net. Uh, Jake Allen. Uh, don't forget, guys, to click on the likes, uh, but it's okay. If I look like uh, not many people anymore follow the Montreal Canadian, go back now to the wall. Don't play part behind the goaltender. Set up now by um, Kovacevic. Turn around around the pot to Cole Caulfield. Go back now by Montreal. Get out of the zone at the blue line at the red line. Coming out of offensive zone. Hold the puck a little bit longer. Pass the puck to Caulfield. Caulfield for the puck in front of the net. And miss the net completely by Bennington. And now back to Iris. Cannot keep control the puck on the defensive zone. Going to reset now on the... On offense season, going to reset on defense season. They're going to go uh, DDD, pick up the puck. But Iris, new players coming for the Montreal Canadian with a little bit over 14 minutes to go remaining, guys. So on this period, it's still a 4 3 for the Blues. Two goals uh, of the Blues uh, back to back uh, for them. Uh, go back now by Montreal Canadian, going to recover the puck. Don't play a puck in neutral zone, set up now. Don't play a puck on defense season. Kali Rosen, keep the puck now, use the puck to the board. Don't play behind the net or uh, Jake Allen. And just set the puck, win the puck around the board. A little bit too far for Sakaski. And Sakaski try to get outside the zone. The puck bouncing back. Re recovery by the center build, but still by Josh Anderson. Anderson's coming out. And Anderson now load the puck. Anderson coming at the right side. Should the puck. Bennington missed the, the net belly. Recovery by the blue line. But um, uh, Jackai. Jackai bring it back to uh, Sakaski. Fire puck in front of the net. Black shot at the right side. And the back door over the stick of Devil Rack and empty net. Uh, Going to pass it right now by Craig by Sakaski to Anderson to Devil Rack. Whiteman now. Pass the puck to Devil Rack. Turn around. And just up now by the Blues. They're going to regroup on defense. He's on going to reset now. And uh, set up by Kiru. Kiru coming to the red line. Kiru on the fence. He's on. Hold the puck now. Pass the puck. Turn the stick by the Montreal Canadian. It's just up now by Shine. Uh, by Thomas. Uh, offside. Oh, by that. I thought he was uh, offside before that. But no call. Go back by Montreal. Go back to the side. And just up now by Pushnevich. Uh, Bring the puck to Thomas. But still by Anderson. Anderson is getting part of the blue line. It's coming to the red line. Anderson to the fence. He's on. Hold the puck now. The back in the back door, and just about that enough. That enough. Wrap up. But you should have put the post. I read my arm here. Hit me. Joel Armia scored through the game. It's four to four. It's Joel Armia. Are you kidding me? No, 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 no. It's Joel Armia. You hear me? OMG, Joel Armia score, tie the game 4-4. What a game tonight, a lot of going at the, at the Bell Center. That's what we're looking for as a fans. Montreal come back in the game. Joel Armia score his second goal of the night, his third of the season. 
and we're going to get back at the, the offensive zone by the center blue attacking now. Hold the puck in the back door. Back in front of the net. Uh, turn around by a uh, dock. A uh, dock try to get a puck deep zone out. Uh, go back behind the net by Carfield. Return the puck to Iris uh, or Emerson. Turn the puck to Zuski. Try to get a puck out uh, by Zuski. Come back now on the neutral zone uh, and go to reset on the defensive zone. Center of blue is going to recover by Rosen. Uh, go back now on the defensive zone. We'll try to get a break out. Uh, and you're going to be get it by the defenseman. And they're going to get now 4-4. Four to four. Going to set up now the goal here. By the... Going to get that one. 4-4. Four. 4-4. Four. Go back on the left side over there. Then Montreux going to get out of the zone. Go back now. And then it's on the front of the bench. Don't pay for the Montreux Canadian. The left side of Bennington. She's hit by Mikela. And go DDD set up now. Part of the center with Blues. They love the puck in the neutral zone. The puck bouncing back and go back on defensive. Arbor checking the puck right away. Find a way to get a puck here. Arbor pass the puck to the D. Go back now, defensive zone. By Emerson. Holding the puck a little bit more. Then Emerson back to butt with Jakai. Jakai now return the puck to Emerson. Go to set up now. Long, long stretch pass. Richard try to get a puck. Turn around, pass in with Blues. Don't play the puck again. Go back to Whiteman. Return the puck to. Uh, uh, Drouin, don't play the park by Rosen. Return the park to Whiteman. Return to uh, Jakai. Jakai passes the park to Richard. The park, uh, pass that up. Pass that up back on the ice, by the way. Go back now to uh, Jakai to Whiteman. Whiteman attacking now. Whiteman's coming the, on the wall. Whiteman and the shoot the park in front of the net. The black shot by the defenseman Rosen. Back in front of the net on the other side. And uh, Drouin passes the park uh, to Richard, I believe. And it's stopped by Bennington. We're going to reset now on the left side of the Bennington, a lot of action, guys. The last couple of minutes uh, between both teams. And I'm going to set up now all the update you need to know uh, about this. Uh, 2024. 1-3, 1-3. 59. Montreal Canadian guys tied the game. Give you a little bit more update about the stats. Huh? Thank you for all the likes you got tonight. Uh, I got one Hoffman and Dwayne. I'm usually preferring the second to our oh, not sure. Uh, like, 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 King, the Army Party boss, I finally are all aboard. Look, uh, welcome from British Columbia. Thanks so much for being with you on Army Montreal. Uh, Bossy Flower, four and four. Yeah, absolutely about this one over there. And Rabinov, knock the door. Welcome aboard. At this rate, we are getting a first one pick for Amir for sure. <laughs> no, thank you. Uh, send Amir to Na uh, Namia. Nice. So Amir, hope we can get the shootout. Uh, Kev, welcome back in the house. We have a few people knock the door. What about Dan Asham and knock the door? Dan, hopefully doing well. Luke Perrault, un but de plus que pachurity. <laughs> Perrault. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Here we go. You have a good time in the chat. That's the most important thing, guys. And then, hey, coach, uh, do you think um, yeah, we'll get our wrist uh, at it tonight? Uh, that would be funny, but you never know. I'm um, yeah, here with that way, guys. I said to you guys before the game start, I'm um, yeah, is he's always been in the hot streak. As it could be sleep for 20 games. He can wake up four games and then can score four five goals and then come back. Can he get the hard trick? or be interesting. See that uh, one can only hope uh, in a tap about him. So that's what we got now. Face up on the right side of the Bennington. Face up, Paris Saint-Louis Blue won the face up. Coming down the fence season. But, um, it was Barbashev bringing the puck to Shen. Shen bringing the puck to Barbashev behind the goaltender. Recovery behind the net. Uh, winning by um, Iris. Return the puck to uh, Doc. Uh, pass the puck to Carfield. Pass the puck to Shen's direction. Allen play the puck, but Iris. Uh, it just said the puck, don't play a puck in the zone, back to Caulfield, pass the puck to Doc, kick out the puck to Ski, hold the puck longer. Ski return the puck to Doc, a little bit far, but return to Caulfield. Caulfield got hit uh, by Shen, go back by the net, uh, set up by Michaela, uh, win the puck to the board, set up now by the center of the Blues, bring the puck in front of the bench, uh, the Montreal, and just up now by uh, Kovacevic, uh, pass the puck to Iris, uh, going now skating the puck, new players coming for the center of the Blues, and uh, Montreal still play with that enough. Uh, on the ice, uh, go back now to Montreal. Get out to uh, Dadenov, back to Armia. Pass the puck to Dadenov. Shoot the puck. Uh, Pennington make a save. Return the puck to Barrinko. 
Now they try to get it outside the zone. Great stick by Gordon Robin Thomas. Thomas left side. Jake Allen bring it behind it. Intercept now by Perrin. Go to the puck. Jake Allen make a save. No rebound. It was a shot by Kiro. And go to a set now on the 9.37 to go remaining, guys, on this second, third period. We have a TV timeout. <laughs> So Dawson Sport Corner, welcome aboard. Thanks for watching, everybody. And Andy Armia has more goal now. It's his uncle Gretzky. Thank you. And my BFC, we're going to see what we're going, what's going on around the league, guys. Uh, the Toronto Maple Leaf. Uh, there we go. Take the lead 3 1 over the Seattle Kraken. And uh, again, the Detroit Red Wing with 10 minutes to go. The Wild still winning 5 to 4. The Kraken guy 7 to 4. And a hat trick for Suzla tonight. Uh, what a game by um, the Kraken tonight and the Blues covering it in the 4-4. A lot of gold tonight in NHL around the league, guys. Many gold we got in NHL. With the puck going to be dropped at the left side of Jake Allen and winning by the Blues. And now the Montreal set up the puck and it was on. Don't play puck at the right side. Bennington chasing now by the defenseman. Go DDD. Now pressure by Montreal Canadian by Jake Evans. Intercepted the blind by Whiteman. Should the puck tip in front of that. Bennington make a save. Rebound. Do it right. Hamia missed the net. Hamia almost scored a hat trick. Oh my God. Go back now. And it was on set up now. Uh, turn around by the center of the boot. Attacking now. Pass the puck to the right side. But uh, uh, Thomas intercepted by the Montreal Canadian. Love the puck in the zone. The puck bounced behind Justin Falk. And no, it, uh, no ice scene. Go back behind the net. Recovery. And front of that enough is uh, number 72, uh, Justin Falk. Uh, Penny Park, down Penny Park, intercept by Anderson, recovery by Anderson, pass the puck to Saval. Long stretch pass now uh, to, um, uh, to uh, Anderson, a speed over and all the way back over there. Pinch went out by the center with blue, try to get back outside the zone. Reset behind the net by Mikela, pressure now by, um, uh, it was uh, Drouin, intercept now in neutral zone by the, by the Montreal Canadiens, turn around. All right, 2-1 for Montreal Canadiens, Drouin looking now, and for Arvis, Drouin for the net, shoot! Enemy! Are you kidding me? It's Jonathan Dwight. Jonathan Dwight score for the Montreal Canadian. It's 5 to 4. Oh, no. Look like it's Josh Anderson now. Josh Anderson score look like it. But it's 5, five to 4. Wow, the Montreal Canadian score, 5 to 4. Is it Drouin? Is it Anderson? Now Drouin, Anderson talk each other. Anderson laugh on the bench right now. And, <laughs> and, this, and Drouin said, I, I don't care. Just get it. <laughs> I'm not good for anyone anyway. That's not going to change my contract next season. About that one over there. 
Wow. Mato I can take the lead now. Five to four. Go back now on the offensive zone. Montois Canadian set up now behind Jake Allen with a bit over eight minutes to go remaining. Still went out by Baron Go on the back end. Shoot it back. Allen make a save. Rebound the right side. Controlling went out by uh, Carfield. Put down the puck. Intercept now by Rosen. Putting it back behind the goaltender. Rend the puck to the right side. Chasing by Aris. Carfield intercept the puck. Pass to Ski. Intercept now by Baron Go. Shoot it back and Jake Allen make a save. The puck bouncing back in the corner. Battle now with four players. That boy Kovacevic pass the puck. Find a way to get a puck. Kovacevic uh, bring the puck. Loads the puck to Carfield. Carfield attacking now. Carfield hold the puck. No more. Pass the puck. Right side. Kovacevic bring the net to Carby Dock. Pass the puck. Get it. Sell it late. Recovery behind the net. And go back uh, on the left side of the uh, Shane. Shane bring the puck. Carfield battle back behind the net uh, with Dock. Dock still the puck. Profinelli Saint Louis going to lob the point to the zone. The puck bouncing from the bench on Montreal Canadian. Finally, the puck go back to Jake Allen. Drop the puck behind, set up by Montreal Canadian, bring the puck to the wall by Joanna Amir. Finally, with to get a puck in zone. And just now, by Sunny Blues attacking, coming back. Go back now by Pitlick. Fire puck, miss the net over the island. Recovery by the, by the Sunny Blues. Bouncing puck behind the net. And chasing now on the right side. Savard, Belly, try the puck outside the zone. And just set by that enough. And finally, uh, Dumpy by Armia. Going to recovery by uh, the different, by. Um, to Park Chenko, recovery for now. Did you pick up by the center blue? Don't pick up by Bank Allen. It's a set for the net. 645 to go. Allen pass the puck to Sava. A lot of points was on. Pinch skating by Dan Elf. Intercept now by uh, Perenko. Return the puck. Uh, then through attacking. Two versus two. Go back on the other side. Now it's coming. Shoot the puck. Uh, and miss the net. Recovery in the corner. Matois still the puck right there. Pass the puck to right side to Dan Elf. Dan Elf the puck. Chasing one up on the Matois Canadian. We have an ice scene. And uh, Rosen win the face, uh, win the race against Josh on the same, going to back on the defensive zone. And we are run up, uh, go back on the defensive of the Jake Allen after uh, icing by the Montreal Canadian. <laughs> face up on the other side, Jake Allen. Uh, so we can start playing golf. Uh, beat the blues and uh, nutty. Not forget, guys. Come on, all you Canadian. Here we go. Go back now the blind. Set up now the left side, Jack Allen. Now shoot a puck. Uh, black shot by the defenseman, Jack I. Go back on the left corner. Go back to the blind. Shoulding by St. Louis Blues. Sacking by the net. A little bit too far for Thomas. Uh, Chasing now. I pipe that enough. And uh, Sakoski, I believe. I don't know. I don't think so. Go back by Jack I. The puck go back to that enough. And Jack I find a way to get a puck outside his own. Hold the puck right there. Don't play a puck on the red line. And new players coming for both teams. And with a little bit less than six minutes to go remaining on this uh, third period. Now the puck go back. Another bad play by the center blue. Recovery by the Montreal. We're going to regroup at DG Pack Savard. Savard return puck to Edmondson. Edmondson, long stretch pass. A tip by the Montreal Canadian. I'll throw the puck by uh, Kirby Dock. Don't play a puck by the net. Uh, Justin Fox chasing by Cole Carfield. Uh, the, the battle winning by St. Louis Blues. Go back by... Uh, pass by Chef, they do too far. Recovery by Montreal Canadian. Savard return the puck to the D. They're going to recovery by the center blue. Attacking now. A two versus two. Fire the puck. No. Hold the puck by Shane. Turn around. Hold the puck at the back door. Set up by Perinko. Intercept by Montreal Canadian. Don't play the puck by Zuzuki. The puck stop at the red line. You go to recovery by Mikala. And for the uh, Bennington. Set up by Perinko. DD. Long stretch pass uh, in front of the bench on Montreal Canadian. And now uh, Zuzuki play a puck. Returning the puck to Savard. Savard hold the puck on the back end. Savard skating the puck. Drive the puck behind to Edmondson. Going to hold in the puck. Jake Allen. New players coming from Montreal Canadian. We just crossed the five minute to go remaining on the third period, guys. We're going to get the duck countdown final after the whistle. Now Edmondson recovery puck on the left side. Hold the puck now. Bad play. Recovery by um, Sakoski, I believe. Don't play by defensive zone. Set up by St. Louis. Return the puck behind the goaltender. Maybe it was Armia, by the way. Go back to the set up by Arvis. Leave the puck in the two zone. Kick out the puck. Don't play the puck by the Montreal Canadian. Jake Evans. Go back by the net by Bennington in front of Armia. Recovery went out by the Senate Blues. Don't play the puck in the neutral zone. Another turnover for both teams. Finally, the Senate Blues attacking out on the offensive side. On the left side, Jake Allen. Uh, hold the puck all the way back behind the goaltender. And then recovery by the Senate Blues. Go back now on the blue line. Let's go back to Perrin Cruz. the puck. Uh, miss the net. Uh, the puck bouncing back. And the puck tried to get outside by Dwayne. Go back to Danav. Uh, Danav in front of the bench. Uh, 
And now, uh, maybe not that enough. I don't know. Iris possibly. And go back to Mikela and behind the Bennington. Win the park. Did he set up a Berenko? Berenko pressure upon my truck. And in the end, it's going to attack now. Bishnevich will find a way to get the park. Draw the park behind. Set up now by Kiro. Fire the park. Black shot upon my truck. And in the end, Edmondson love the park on defense. He's on. Recovery by Sunday with Blues at 3.40 to go remaining on this uh, that third period, Montreal intercepted the puck on the back door. No chance recovery. And up by Kiru. The puck bouncing between players. They go back by Bushnevich. Playing the puck to Kiru. Lose the puck. Return it by Montreal Canadian. Behind Pennington with Emerson. Don't play the puck. Go back now behind the net. Uh, Senu try to get outside his own. Great play by, Senu, by the Montreal Canadian. They really play well with their stick. And uh, they are now on defense. His own DD set up by Savard. Love the point of zone. Set up back again to Emerson. Now they play like the triangle, and the Saint Blue are winning too much. Right now, pass the puck to corner. Don't play the puck on defense. He's on Saint Louis. Pinching right now. No ice in. They go back DDD. They're going to recovery on the left side. And now go back to Pet Lake. Return the puck to Saint Dilly. Saint Dilly on the red line. Don't play the puck behind Jake Allen. Or go to Jake Allen. Play the puck right now. Intercept now by uh, the Saint Blues at the goal line. Put the puck behind the net. Set up now by uh, Jackai, I believe. Don't play the puck the right side. Don't play the puck behind the in the end. Go back a little bit too far for Cole Carfield and now go to Perenko. No icing. Great play by Carfield to beat Perenko for the icing. Well, we don't see Pesela and uh, Richard the last couple of minutes. Uh, now, dog behind the net. Uh, uh, battle with uh, uh, is it Perenko. I'm not sure. We have four players right there to the wall and the puck go nowhere. The puck stuck all the way back. 2.23 to go. Perenko, Carfield, dog. Uh, then intercept now by the motor can hit deep in the zone by uh, Evans. Bring the party blind. Set up now by Kovacevic. Fire the puck. Uh, black shot uh, out of the play. We're going to recover right there with 2.12 to go remaining on this period, guys. Uh, what a final countdown now. Here we go. Let's see what happened around the league. The Buffalo Sabre tied the game. Wow. 5-5. Five five. The Kraken got 8-4. 8-4 for the Kraken. Unbelievable night. The Toronto Maple Leaf 3-1. 5-5. 8-4. 5-4. Unbelievable day of gold in the NHL tonight. Uh, around that net. Uh, let's see. We Marty Laville. Uh, uh, Le Chanel, uh, Mathieu Lavoie, is there any Quebec people? Uh, bien sûr, il y a plusieurs personnes du Québec uh, dans la chat. Uh, um, Mathieu Lavoie, bienvenue avec nous ce soir. Uh, I don't have it. Don't forget, uh, oubliez pas de cliquer sur le petit pouce en haut. Oh, can you explain Shadow's success this season? I don't get it. Uh, um, look, it's a great example happening uh, rap, uh, in Rabinov. They score eight goals, but they give four. So the goaltender is below 900. They cannot stop. They, they give a lot of goals. Thanks so much. New member, uh, Larry Lavalle. Thanks so much. Uh, the Hockey Nation Show, very kind of you. Um, they score a lot of goals, but they don't give anything. They, they score a lot of goals, and they give a lot of goals, and they score a lot of goals. So um, it's a team of really uh, well-balanced. The four line is really good, by the way. And uh, they, they, they're really good. Empty net, I guess, for the St. Louis, for the St. Louis Blues. Uh, we played six versus five at the goal line. Hold the puck, another ball. Back again to shine. By the puck now to Justin Falk. And a very bad play by Falk on that one. Recovery at the blind. And uh, find a way to go back to him. Pass the puck to uh, the left side. Go back now at the goal line. Shoot the puck. Back down, shoot the puck. Miss the net. Great play by St. Louis Blues. And return the puck to the blue line. Hold the puck. Six versus five. Back to Falk. 
bring the puck to Thomas, uh, uh, to Shine, Shine to the goal line, bring the puck in, uh, back to Shine, Shine return the puck now, back to Falk, Falk return the puck to the left D, we're going to fire puck, black shot by Allen, I go back by the net, shoot the puck behind the net, recovery by Montreux, Canadian, lob the puck, intercept at the line by Justin Falk, one minute to go remaining on the third period, the Montreux, Canadian, still 5-4, to four. now the center we attacking now, 6-5, Shine to Falk, fire puck, miss the net, recovery at the right corner by Thomas, Thomas to the left, at the, the wall, Thomas coming down at the goal line. Hold back to Thomas. Coming is looking now. Thomas checks the king again at the dot. Montreal play what? Go back at the goal line behind Kiru. Leave the puck to Shine. Shine recovery puck. Back to Falk. Falk recovery now. Falk pressure. Back to Shine. Shine at the wall. Return the puck to Falk. Falk everything now. Go back to the other side. Fire puck. Uh, black shot by Sabal. Return to Armia. Love the puck. And black, black shot broken. Stick by Armia. That's good news for Montreal. 30 seconds to go. Back to Shine. Shine hold the puck now at the wall. Shine right now, coming back to the goal line. Get back by uh, Kiru. Kiru return the puck to Thomas. Uh, Thomas at the goal line. Bring it back to the blue line. Kicked out by Matwak and try to pack outside up by Armia. Armia have no stick right there. Fuck recovery puck. Back again by uh, Shine. Get to Thomas. Thomas hold the puck left side. Coming back on right side. Don't play a puck over there. And just up by Matwak and in. Seven seconds to go remaining, guys. Uh, it's Matwak at the left side. Matwak win the battle. Go back at the line one more time. Shoot a puck, black shot. And the Matwak Canadian, guys, go to win tonight at the Matwak Canadian. The Montreal Canadiens win tonight! Montreal Canadian won by the score tonight, us five to four against the Blues. It was the predict of my game at the beginning of the night. I predict Montreal Canadian going to win tonight, and that's happening at the Bell Center. Two goal by the number forty, Joel Amia, second and the third of the season. Caulfield score for the Montreal Canadian is twenty third of the year, and what a night with Josh Anderson. I think it was the last goal for the Montreal Canadian. And that's the final score, guys, uh, tonight at the Bell Center. But a score of 5-4 to four for the Montreal Canadiens. Let's conclude, guys, another great show of the Hockey Nation Live Show. Before you leave the building, guys, don't forget to click on the like. That'd be great. And the Montreal Canadiens won finally the 16th W of the year. And the goal-winning game, guys, the number 27, Jonathan Drouin. Scored his first goal of the year. Unbelievable. Drouin at 11 30 second at this third period gave that goal. Assisted by Jonathan Kovacevic. And that's what we got on that goal on the back end so at the 11 30. That gave the W for the Montreal Canadian tonight at a score of 5 to 4. Don't forget to click on the like. That'd be awesome. We really appreciate it. What a game for the Montreal Canadian. It's fun. That's what we're looking for, guys. That's what we want at the South, at the Bell Center. Montreal show up every game, whatever they're winning or losing. A lot of goal tonight. And that's all about. Remember that the game they lost 6 4 again. The Vegas go tonight. It was a great performance overall. But tonight, Montreal find a way to get that W again. The City with Blues uh, by the score of 5 4. Drouin winning goal, winning game. And then we have two goals for Joanne Armia, like I mentioned. Cole Caulfield, 23rd of the year. And uh, the next one was Kirby Dock. Uh, Montreal can have one goal on, on the poor plate tonight. And then the Senate Blues is one and three. I hope Montreal end up losing. And over time, uh, OMG, Amia, Edouin, Francois, Absolute, Marco said you could take that one to the bank for the Montreal, uh, Montreal, Nathan C. Thank you very much. What work to Ole Ole. Thanks so much, Nathan C. Thank you so much, everybody. William Sandler, Lucky Le Channel. Zenit Gaming, uh, welcome. I'm afraid for Edouin, uh, his goal would be Revenant. Uh, they made big chance goal for Anderson. Uh, yeah, it was Anderson at the beginning. They returned to Drouin, Zenit, 
but I think it would be given to him uh, at that moment. I'm here to go to win one goal. That should be interesting. Add brunch tomorrow. And at that, um, we are so far for Bernie now. I don't want to win anymore. King of Gamer, 20 more likes to get that like. Don't forget, guys, if you leave the building to get that like. Uh, we are in overtime, guys, at the Memorial uh, Arena in Buffalo. Let's see what we got here. Let's move on for the next game in NHL. Who we got here continues the, the program of the Hockey Nation that I show right now here. And uh, the Toronto Maple Leaf win by the score 4 to 1, guys. Uh, this game is over. The Kraken are going to win 8 to 4. Uh, unbelievable. And right now we are in overtime, Minnesota and the Buffalo with 155 to go remaining. And don't forget to click on the likes uh, if you don't want. Buffalo's coming out from the back. What a strike by Fleury. Wow. Fleury, what unbelievable break out now that Minnesota coming back on the left side over there. But Fleury just saved the game over there. Go back to Buffalo. Got Buffalo got one point. Lisa, go back. And break away, Buffalo. I skin her. Shoot it back. And Fleury make another big save. Rebound. Skin her. Shoot it back. Fleury make another big save. The veteran. Jmark Andre Fleury. Unbelievable. Back to back to back. Skin her. Break away. OMG, it's still tied again. 4 4, 5 5, and Buffalo. What a game over there. Wow. And then we need to uh, strikes to win tonight, uh, King of Gamer. Uh, but the coach, the but is to guard Anderson and not to win. Now the, the goal is back and Anderson, guys. <laughs> yeah, absolutely right about this. Uh, the goal is back to Anderson uh, about this one over there. Uh, absolutely right, this one. What about the doctor? Other Gary. I'm sorry, top rock. Uh, we want the Sunny Cup coach. Uh, World Rule, finalement. On look at it. Uh, Sunny Blues. Uh, and our top uh, uh, coach, the beat. Uh, this John Anderson confirmed about this one over there. Adam Berger, a great win for the Canadian coach. Uh, yes, Adam. It was fun to watch the game anyway. And uh, we don't expect too much, Adam, but. Uh, it's fun that sometimes we win those games. Now, Buffalo's coming back at 2-1. Mr. Dad, man, Mr. Dad, win it by rebound. On the side, shoot it back. Fleury make a save. Rebound. Another shot. Another save. Go back to the side. Buffalo, now, Minnesota on breakaway. Wow, a breakaway for Minnesota. The big over there and guys on the back. You shoot it back. A big save. A rebound. Another big save. It's 5-5 five to five over there. What exciting game in the Buffalo back and forth for both teams. Wow, if you have a chance to watch the game, guys, I turn on the TV because this is happening now. And Buffalo, Kaprizov on the back door, pass up by the grind, fire puck, safe by the goaltender, rebound inside. Now the Buffalo recovery puck, 25 seconds remaining on this overtime. It's still 5 5. The people are stand up over there. Go back at the back door, fire puck, heavy! The Buffalo Saber win the one time and shout out Victor all up. The Buffalo Saber win for the score six to five. Unbelievable overtime and Buffalo tonight, ladies and gentlemen. The Minnesota Fleury is furious right now. Slam the stick on the board. And now the Buffalo Saber win the game tonight. But it's called 6 5. Come back by 5 4 to 5 5. Tie game at the end of the game. And now to get the W with 20 seconds remaining of this overtime. And this is a celebration. And Buffalo downtown tonight and the New York State. Uh, wow, the game tonight. Uh, at least the one got to after the game interview. Thinking that is our score. And at that, how is the scope you're going? Uh, here we go. Uh, looking and at that, uh, like some of our colleagues, I first want to know Alan Dawson the way I'm ready there. But I call it to Buffalo win Pierre Martin. Yeah. Wow, what a game! <laughs> what a fun tonight about this one of the JB. Salut, coach Frenchy. Bonsoir, tous les amis. On est sur la Montréal en Pérou. Salut, mon JP. Notre team performing greatly tonight. Uh, we get the uh, awesome mine. Since the exciting match, uh, what change, coach? Uh, we are beautiful to all the Quebec. Uh, great uh, about that. We need to win like this. Also, a while good for the team. It's very good for Martin. It's really nice to get some. Absolutely, absolute right. I agree with you, Kev, about this. Uh, Marco Sakin about this. Uh, what a game tonight, guys. Uh, what a what a fun game to watch at the Buffalo, guys. Buffalo Saber 6-5. Montreal 5-4. Kraken 8-4. The Toronto win tonight, 4-1. Uh, Tavares with two goals. And we have 
Three games start at 10 o'clock tonight. Two games start at 10 o'clock. Uh, don't forget the Colorado against Edmonton Oilers. Uh, but yeah, not that. I have a question for you. And on top, you might meet my sweet. Uh, here we go. Don't forget, guys, to leave, click on the like if you leave the building tonight. That'd be good. That'd be awesome. We are about 80 something. Can we get that 100 tonight? That would be the best question. But you never know. Could happen. Eric M., uh, good effort for the boys tonight. You're absolutely right, Eric. Uh, I agree with you. Fun to watch uh, tonight. Uh, the Montreal Canadian for sure. Buffalo has a lot of gap space. They pick up a couple of good defensemen. They look out. Uh, I agree with you about this one over there. Um, and that's the only four marks like neat. What a game will you? Absolutely right about this. Uh, so not end the playoff spot, uh, King of Gamer. Don't forget to click on the like. I'll sure. Thank you, RG. I told you uh, I have Buffalo at $200. Uh, Rick, uh, good call about that one over there. Rick, uh, congratulations. About that one, uh, for sure. What a game, guys, in Montreal Canadiens. Yeah, we have to be proud of Montreal Canadiens tonight. Like I said, uh, you know, um, I think the best was the comment from uh, Eric at the end. He said, Eric said, you know, it's good for Martin St. Louis. It's good for the Montreal Canadiens overall. And the absolute right, uh, uh, Eric, I agree with you about this, uh, for sure. Uh, Marco, Marco Larabi, guys, uh, don't forget, is my co host of the App Branch Your Sunday Rendezvous. Tomorrow morning, we are back at 11 o'clock, back for the first of the 2023 uh, with uh, Karen Hans. Uh, Karen will be with us tomorrow. I'm uh, going to talk about Montreal Canada a little bit more. It's a fun conversation about the team, and uh, we're glad to be back all together uh, for one hour. It's a tape recording video, but we talk chat live so you can join us. Uh, Marco is going to be there with Karen. I'm not sure about me, but both the B should be there about one buffalo. It could be another centre. Uh, good no pick on weekend. No gel for Yamo. Uh, I think it will be ugly again tonight. Uh, uh, thanks so much, RJ. Coach, uh, do you think the Sabre can still make the playoff? Uh, um, I don't think so. I don't have the stat in front of me right now, but... Uh, I, I don't see that. They'll be close, but I think the Pacific this year is going to get uh, more uh, five team compared to Montreal, uh, compared to the Atlantic. Uh, I could be wrong, but uh, I still believe it will be uh, that way. I give you that last update here. 1616. 16. Don't forget, click on the likes. Uh, there we go. The all update are done here. And I think we get, uh, I don't know if we put here, Anderson is 11 gold for Anderson tonight. Uh, there we go. Uh, we love the passion, ancient, and spirit. Uh, the exclamation mark to the game was the sacrifice, the body, and the final minute to keep the win. Uh, Conferentie, what is your opinion on the current line? Pretty good, GP. Uh, you know, uh, for me, it's a, it's, it's a thing to learning for the Montreal Canadiens. They are at the bottom, but it's still, that's a good spirit for this game uh, to go come kind of positivity. They score a power play to scare at one point, Carful score. And you have uh, Drouin have a good game. Uh, Army are two goals. They're going to get out now. They're going to be back home and with Smart. And you need that after a really difficult month of the December. And look, they understand the situation. Martin, so we feel better tonight. It, it's at the end of the day, the W brings some kind of joy, happiness, everything like this. Uh, you know, so that's a good uh, spirit team a winning game tonight. And that's what we're looking for. And for for, for Senior Blues, uh, Go back home with zero point. They have a good trip so far, the Blues, but uh, missing too many pieces of the puzzle with seven players out of the lineup uh, for the Blues tonight. Uh, usually, Specker in the uh, offense, Armia, Evans, Edouard, and Drake uh, have a good win. win uh, would you like to trade Manian or try to resign him at the end of the season? No, I would trade him, Eric, uh, 
uh, for them. Uh, Buffalo much improved. Randy V, I agree with you about this one over there. Don't forget, guys, click on the likes. Uh, great question over there. And the goal, I think I feel is scoring for the goal to, oh yeah, definitely. Uh, look, they go to hit the half of the season, the next game, he's still at, at 23. So that will give him about 46 goals. If you multiply by two, he reached his 50 goals during his young career uh, today. But uh, yeah. Uh, so you can bring experience, Alexander. Yeah. Uh, I think for me, Alexander focused more. At, if I was Buffalo, as it would be two area. One is will be a defenseman on the right defenseman. Uh, I don't know, McCab if it could be a good spot. Uh, he been there before, but they will need to look in a right defenseman for sure. They have power, they have tal talent. Uh, but they need more on the right defenseman. Experience wise, right defenseman, not easy to find in NHL. You know, a guy like Brent Burns who went to Carolina. I don't I'm not thinking right now in my head, but a guy like him, I think that would be a solid player for them as a right defenseman. Uh, that would be a good one over there. Experience wise, um they're pretty much good on the, you know, they they, they are Doc Thompson. Skinner, Carson does a great job. Middlestead is doing a good job right now. Alderson is over there. They have a lot of good power forward over there. For me, I would add a, a veteran defenseman on the right side over there. Uh, as Marco said that early, uh, sorry, Marco, uh, to copy you about this. No coach that they gave uh, the goal uh, to, they gave the goal, they gave the goal to Dwayne. <laughs> It looked like now for NHL, the, uh, uh, the goal is back to Anderson. Uh, and then, I said by Drouin and Kovacevic. It was Anderson, they go back to Drouin, and they return the, the, the goal to Anderson for what we see here. Drouin got the goal or not. Uh, uh, look, uh, change it, goal to Anderson. <laughs> yeah, it is, it's true. Well, a couple of games start at 10 o'clock, guys, uh, uh, tonight. Um, are you going to get the Golden Knight, the Vegas versus Los Angeles King at 10 o'clock? The Colorado versus Edmonton at 10 o'clock. And then 10.30, the Bruins play the Sharks tonight. Uh, and uh, all the game is over. The Kraken beat Ottawa, guys, 8-4. to four. So what happening in the standing, guys? Uh, with those uh, situation, I don't know that NHL is going to give us those uh, standing already. Let's see if they put uh, the standing um, up. Uh, try to get all the game and action uh, uh, over there. Uh, and this is better first one. Uh, we're going to go post game, guys. Uh, I forgot to mention this. I apologize. If you want to talk about the game right now, talk about anything about hockey, you're welcome to join me. We'll be live for about 30 minutes. Uh, I don't know if you, someone can put the uh, 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 Luciano, we can put this right there. That'll be great. Uh, a big one. A cannabis one tonight too. We need to keep in the scent no matter what. Pierre Martin. It depends what you get in return, uh, Pierre Martin. You pay a lot of money in return for him. So I don't know if I would do this. Uh, thanks so much. Ali, I'll call seven like. Uh, you said that, Mr. Uh, and then Josh want to get credit for the goal. The puck already crossed the line. Then the tap. Oh, yeah, I agree with you about this. Uh, Chicago bet uh, bet on kill will win. Uh, welcome back, Chicago. So the Florida Panthers guy are twenty second tonight. Uh, they have now Detroit uh, all behind them, and Ottawa is behind them by one point. Vancouver uh, are twenty seven. The Montreal Canadiens still at 35, 37, but they add now two point, three points from San Jose, and they are uh, four points for Arizona. So 
good W for them, but not understanding of C for them. Uh, so that's happening about this. Eric uh, better like uh, never for Vermeer, but need to keep scoring to have any hope for trade. Yeah, you're absolutely about this uh, for Juan Vermeer. Like you said, he's always been a gold uh, a player, go uh, gold and hot there. Uh, Well, someone knocked the door very soon. I'm going to open the door. I just need to close uh, this. Uh, guys, give me about one minute, uh, if you don't mind. Uh, that would be good. Uh, too many things happening here at the same time. Oh, our friend. Ari going to set I to us. Ari. Ari. Si, monsieur. Comment qui va, mon homme? Ça va, très bien, toi, ça va? Ben oui, ben oui. C'est quoi ton commentaire ce soir, mon homme? C'est bon. C'est bon ce soir? Très content de la performance des Canadiens de Montréal? Oui, Montréal, il y a 5 cartes. Ben oui, 5 à 4 ce soir, t'es content? Ben oui, toi aussi? Ben oui, ben une très belle victoire pour le Montréal ce soir. Ouais. T'as euh, re regardé la partie au complet? Euh, oui. Oui? Ah, C'est bon ça? Donc, euh, as-tu ouais. d'autres commentaires? Qu -ce, qui était le meilleur joueur pour toi ce soir? As-tu bien aimé Cole Caulfield? Euh, oui. Caulfield, ouais. il manquait but encore. Oui, 23e de la saison pour Carfield, puis deux buts de jouer à l'armée. Qu'est-ce que tu penses de l'armée ce soir? Oui, Maya, il manqué deux buts. Oui, deux buts ce soir pour jouer à l'armée. Ça lui donne trois dans les, dans les deux dernières parties. Donc, euh, très belle performance de Montréal ce soir. On va voir comment ils vont répondre. La semaine prochaine, Piqué Subben, on va honorer, on va donner euh, une ovation à Piqué Subben. Il va être de retour avec Montréal pour un soir pour la présentation de pour lui. Oui. Donc, euh, je te souhaite une bonne soirée, mon Harry. Merci d'avoir arrêté ce soir. On se reprend la prochaine partie. C'est bon. Parfait. À la prochaine. Merci, toi aussi. À la prochaine. Parfait. Salut. Bye. There we go, Ari. You know, that's all about here, guys. We welcome everybody. Ari is a great guy for us. Always a pleasure having him with us. Stop by all the time. And that's all about at the end. Ladies and gentlemen, we did it. I don't know how we did it, but we finally did it. One of the likes. Rivers. Chop, chop, chop. Wow, 100 likes for the 41 time, 40 time of the year, guys. 100 likes. Thanks so much, moderator, to pushing hard. And the people in the chat, if you click on the like, we really appreciate about this one over there. So we really kind of you. Good call, uh, Marco. I would say comments to the moment, morning, but I did call the win thing. So for remaining me, lucky about that. Uh, but I think Philip is next. Uh, Philip, sir, Marco Larabi, Ari, here we go. Uh, one of the likes, uh, yeah, we should get a first round pick, but young player on the app, look up to him. Did you stress a Bennington coach? Yes, I did. <laughs> I was behind uh, Marco. I was like, I gave every, I put everything in, and then I'm going to get caught. Uh, how about that one there? Just give you an ID. Um, it was 1.2 he did 1.2 i don't know how he did that but uh he's going to be minus uh, after they, they gave the goal but uh, now i'm very bad shape tonight uh, i'm behind at 16 points so i'm out again not a very good year for me unfortunately it's all right not big deal uh yeah would be first round big but we're young players uh uh coach your show should be on sportnet uh thanks so much uh, mr n rabinav really kind of you 
I wish we had more, pe more people, but it is what it is. Here we go. Saint Fen number seven in the house. Welcome aboard. Saint Fen. We know the Saint Fen 879. Now we have the Saint Fen 7, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome aboard. Thanks to be the Hockey Nation show. Whoops, sorry about that. <laughs> Uh, we're going to wait. We have a double header. Uh, I forgot to dress up my lineup to today's this week. 10 points behind right now. That's in the good news, Marco. Uh, I, 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 I don't know. It's very hard this year for me. Everything I do is not good for that, but it, it, it's okay. It's okay. Don't forget, guys, add brunch uh, your Sunday review tomorrow. And Monday to Friday, we do the shows called the uh, warm-up show. Uh, every Sunday, uh, every Monday to uh, 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. And that's what's happening about this. Uh, Mr. I sent Fan 7. Uh, hi, my friend. Come on, Très bien. De Ottawa. Senator, welcome, Dex. Uh, thanks so much. Uh, Raph, right now. Senator Fans, uh, 8 to 4. Unbelievable. Uh, I, I'm lucky that Bat didn't start the game. <laughs> but uh, it is what it is. Uh, very interesting game tonight. The Colorado, uh, Colorado Avalanche play against Edmonton Oilers. Uh, Colorado uh, really struggled right now. Last, the last three games are 20 in NHL. Imagine if Edmonton beat them. Uh, this is a game of four points between both. They are thrilled at uh, Colorado uh, by three points and three game in hands. But still, it's not a great position for Colorado Avalanche tonight. For sure. Uh, forget pick as well, Marco. And there's been so much a bad friend to rob that drawing gold, uh, Alexandre Maillard. Yeah, and I thought busy first week back at work. Uh, and there's been much a bad friend. And that's another uh, three coach away from Ben Good. Uh, Alexandre. Uh, yeah, I don't know how this works. Uh, for me, like Ellen said earlier, I thought he's going to be given to drawing. I think he pushed the puck after they crossed the line, but uh, it's a you know, a bad, uh, a bang bang play. Uh, but <laughs> Jonathan would tell him, so don't worry about this, uh, uh, Josh. I'm okay with zero goals so far. <laughs> uh, I have my bet and in uh, Chicago. That's what's happening tonight. Uh, lucky he should pay uh, him a dinner. Yeah, definitely he should get him something in return for sure. Alex, uh, now Anderson have 11 goals in the beginning of the season for Anderson. Uh, so that's a good news for him, uh, for them. And one more likes. That's great to hear that. Uh, If you want to talk a little bit, I'm here a little bit more longer. Um, I'm not going to be late, but uh, if you want to open the door, I'm here. And there's something we buy the dinner. Yeah. I don't want to get an assist on that one anyway. It's not end of the world about that. Uh. The Florida Panthers play the Dallas tomorrow. Big game for Florida Panthers. Uh, um, the Detroit lost the third straight game, by the way. The Philadelphia uh, win the last four. Philadelphia are two point behind. Um, are two point are two point in front of Montreal Canadiens with one game in hands. Montreal play the next game at home again. And the Ox game last night, it was where a Blackhawks bet out jersey. Here we go. That's the way to do that. Yeah. RJ, welcome aboard. How you guys doing? How you doing? All right. How's uh, what do you have I to say to us tonight? Uh, I watched those. I watched that all those games today. What a great! Oh my god, that's like a crazy game of the cracking game today. Wow, it's like a the blowout. Kraken eight goal, like you said about this. Uh, a lot of different wow. players about this uh, for the score goal uh, and. Uh, and one thing about the Kraken, uh, a great point to talk about this guy, is, again, I think it's eight friends scorer tonight, guys. Eight friends scorer. This is rare. And Daniel Sprung, 12 goal this season, guy, play on the four line. This is the biggest uh, name uh, for me, like uh, with the Sraco Kraken, play on the four line, 12 goal this season. 
And, you know, like tonight, 11, 9, 14, 19, 6, 12. And that's what they are, the Kraken. Everybody can score a goal uh, for them. Mm -hmm. It was a good game for them. Uh, did you watch the Buffalo Sabres too? Oh, yeah, I watched that too. And I watched the Ranger game and the Devils game today in the afternoon. I watched that game. I yeah. watched that in the afternoon. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. It was a good game too, right? Oh, yeah. Great games. Yeah. Did you watch yeah. uh, the Blue Jacket Hurricane earlier? Yep, I watched that too. Yep, I watched that here too. Yep. Uh, what about oh. Toronto? Did you stop by to watch a couple of pieces? Yeah, of I watched that. I watched some, some go on the other people's channels, watch some of that game. Yeah, what a great game. So what do you expect between the Golden Knights and the Kings tonight? This is a big, big game for the Atlantic Division, right? Uh, the, uh, the Pacific it's Division. Gonna, it's going to be a tough game tonight. It's going to be a tough game for both teams. It's going to yeah. be a tough team. Let's, let's, let's and Edmonton, Colorado, what are you, what are you thinking about this game? Mm, Chicago, Chicago is going to win that game. To beat, uh, to beat that game today. And then the Boston Bruins play tonight against the Sharks. Oh yeah, yeah. Boston's gonna beat the Boston's gonna beat the Sharks like six to nothing. Gonna beat them. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What about tomorrow? Tomorrow we got like eight. Tomorrow we have eight games on the schedule. Tomorrow there's eight a lot of game. games tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of games tomorrow. Wow. Tomorrow is big. Uh, tomorrow. Yeah, it's the biggest night versus the Jets at 3 o'clock. The Panthers versus the Dallas Stars at 3.30. The Blue Jacks versus the Washington Capitals at 5 o'clock. The Blues versus Minnesota at 7 o'clock. The Flames versus the Blackhawks at 7 o'clock. The Penguins versus the Arizona Coyotes at 7 o'clock. The Maple Leafs are playing the Flyers at 7 o'clock. And Boston versus the Ducks at 8.30 on the schedule. It's That's tomorrow. That's everything. If you think about this, uh, RJ, the Surrey Blues have to travel after the game tonight, guys, and they have to go to Minnesota. So yep. they leave now at 10 o'clock. The game is about like 30 minutes, so they have to get out at 11 o'clock. They have to do the mm -hmm. costume. They have to cross the costume when they go to Minnesota. It takes about, what, two hours to go to Minnesota tonight. So it'll be at home. they will be at the hotel tonight, guys, at 3 o'clock, 3.30. Yep. Now the know, Minnesota guys, traveled no. back home, but sleep mm -hmm. in the bed at home compared to the hotel. So the Blues tomorrow, guys, and back to back, Bennington not between the pipe. That would be a really difficult game for the Blues tomorrow. Yep. Monday, Montreal, Montreal Canadiens versus the Kraken on Monday, June 9th at seven thirty. That's where they're playing that game. I cannot at tell Kraken are Montreal. good really. Okay. Uh, Pierre Martin said the the Kraken is going to make the playoff. Luciano said Kraken only two points behind the LA. Uh yeah, I, just, I, just watched, I just watched some NFL football. I just watched some NFL football games today. Oh yeah. yeah. A lot of some games today. Yeah, Kansas City uh Chiefs beat uh the Ravens 31-13 final today. And right now Tennessee and the Jaguars are playing now in 16-10 in the third quarter. Yep. Oh wow. And a lot of and we have a lot of games maybe next week. Monday, we got four games on Monday. Tuesday, we got 10 on, on Tuesday. Four on Wednesday. 12 on Thursday. Three on Friday. 14 on Saturday. And busy three on week, Sunday. Busy week next week, right? Yep. Yep. And you know, tomorrow, the, Rock, the Middle Rockets are the Middle Rockets are playing tomorrow for the Toronto leaves tomorrow at 4 30 in the afternoon for the rockets wow tomorrow in the afternoon that'd be awesome to watch awesome. this uh, a lot of action tomorrow for sunday for you my friend rj you're going to be busy again we're going to come back tomorrow night i'm not sure if i do a game or i'm doing a, a hnlt at nine o'clock p.m tonight tomorrow night yep yep that's fine all right, my friend. We wish you a good night. Thank you so much for everything tonight, RJ. Enjoy you and the rest of your night. I will oh. see you uh, tomorrow. Yep. All NFL games are all tomorrow. Every night, guys. All right. Have a good night, RJ Calabro, guys. Directly from the New Jersey downtown. Our best friend for the Hockey Nation show. Guys, This is a, he does an amazing, great job for the Hockey Nation show. This man, um, you know, 
Uh, we have a lot of moderators. Behind, we have a lot of people behind the scenes that bring a lot on the table. And um, we have to, uh, you know, thank, uh, thanks all those people and the moderator. We have a lot of great co-hosts. Uh, this channel should be so much better, but uh, so much better. When I said better, it should have more viewers, should be more people. But it is what it is. We're not complaining <laughs> at all. We just wish we have more people. We have, we have a great people, quality people in the chat. Uh, we thank each one of you guys to be with us tonight. Uh, thanks to time. We have appointment a little more. Harry, uh, bonne nuit, mon Harry. Thank you so much. On se revoit à la prochaine, mon Harry. Bye-bye. I, as you can have wrote, you have to write uh, Alexandre Bruns, our answer bubble, they are going to all of the traitor deadline. They are 34 and 4. Larry, we are all our key fans, uh, some older, older, but all equal and love the game. Uh, go as uh, well said, Larry from Arizona. I cannot say more about you. Thanks so much, by the way, to member of the hockey. Well done, RJ. Thank you so much, uh, Luciano. We appreciate a lot uh, tonight uh, for everybody about that one uh, tonight. Uh, uh, one other seven like uh, I, I thought be I'll be honest for you guys. Uh, I don't know how you you, know, you pull this out, uh, uh, Luciano and the rest of the team because uh, we have about twenty nine at the end of the first period, and uh, usually the education for me to get it or close is when we get fifty. Uh, we get fifty at the middle of the second period, and uh, I think the game uh, tie the game and the Montreal end the game at the end of the third period, push us to get that because we pop, we pop up about 135 people live at the end of the game. So uh, quiet night overall. I don't know what, what the people, what they're doing after Christmas, like why they don't watch hockey, but uh, or the hockey initial like show, but uh, it is what it is. Uh, and it uh, will be interesting. Sunday morning here and the Thailand guys, January 8th, uh, 10 o'clock in the morning. Really, really a uh, bad weekend about the weather here. It's like right now it's cloudy, no sun around. the The water, the be, uh, the the water is calm but uh, not windy. It's going to be a really a rest of the day for me. We will be back at, of course, uh, tomorrow morning at eleven o'clock Eastern time with uh, your your ad brunch, your Sunday rendezvous. A lot of conversation, a couple of updates for the Montreal Canadiens. And uh, we're going to give you uh, everything you need to know about the Montreal. And be back tomorrow night, 9 o'clock, being possible, uh, with some kind of panelists uh, with me. I think so. We'll go look about that. Uh, uh, every game count, but from here on, each one is worth like a three-point channel. Uh, I do what I can. Uh, coach, uh, love, and shout is people. Thanks so much, uh, Mr. Pierre Martin. I uh, appreciate a lot here. Uh, maybe people missing, many people missing regular. Yeah, possible. Yeah, I don't know why. It's a, uh, maybe, I don't know. Maybe the kids come back Monday at the school. I don't know. The game at Edmonton start. We are already penalty, I believe, for Colorado. Uh, Zeb, look, Jan, yeah, Pierre, I didn't see Reggie tonight, um, Zeb could pop up earlier, yeah, uh, Jan, no, uh, Vinny is out, Vinny, he was at the game tonight, <laughs> Vinny went to the game against Ottawa Senator, uh, 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 to watch Ottawa Senator tonight, so, um, very interesting, uh, what he's going to say to us tomorrow about that, uh, Power play for the Edmonton Oilers guys are already at the beginning of the first game, uh, at the first period. Uh, Nicola played possibly hockey. Yeah, Nicola did not see Nick tonight. Um, yeah, we did not see Danny, I believe, Jose. Um, so, yeah, a lot of people missing. Well, it's okay. It's okay. App scheduled Kraken, Brett, Southern Rangers, a jet uh, Southern Kraken, ouch. Uh, and then you have, now you're going to celebrate maybe at Montreal tonight, so it'll be good for Montreal. And then the Predator. Um, Thursday, Islanders, Rangers, a jet uh, How many W I get? Maybe one. 
I would like to uh, crack in game. Yeah, I'll be back uh, with the Montreal uh, Monday crack and play Monday night. Uh, I think it's Tuesday, no? Uh, hold on, the 9, Sunday the 9, 10, I think it's Sunday, uh, it's Tuesday night. No, the 9, so they play Monday night, they play Thursday, and uh, Next weekend, guys, we play, oh, my God, next weekend, we play Saturday, Sunday at 5 o'clock in the morning. I have to wake up. I have to do the game. So they play Monday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday afternoon. It's going to be a back-to-back three games and four nights for the Montreal Canadian Predator, Islanders, and Rangers. So Monday night. The game is 7.30 Monday night, by the way. Again, the Kraken. That surprised me. Wow. I would like to let Kraken get going to play Monday night. Uh, yeah, PR, uh, I would try to go in Montreal. Pierre Martin, here we go. Now, the next weekend, guy, the game is on the road, by the way. It's not a Montreal. So they play uh, Thursday at Montreal. They leave after the game. And they're going to play Saturday at Lander, stay at the hotel, and then they play Sunday morning, Sunday afternoon, 5 o'clock, and they come back, and they play uh, Monday the 17th, Wednesday, uh, I think the Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday. Big game again, the Flair Panthers guy, the 19th at home, and then they play the Saturday, again, the Leaves uh, on Saturday. The Boston Bruins, the Detroit, and Ottawa Senator, and the Ottawa Senator. So they play Ottawa twice, Detroit. For the rest of the calendar, guys, they don't play with any team. Like, the only Ottawa Senator, not a good team in Detroit. Wow. And the Panthers. Not going to be easy for them. I like watching the coach and in a trap at the warm up show. Great show, guys. Uh, Gary, thanks so much. You should, uh, Gary, to come uh, to do your prediction of the game with us, uh, Gary. We would like to have in you. By the way, Gary, where are you located? Uh, that's uh, encouraging for his development. Uh, I listened and told that Joshua Roy, uh, his coach uh, last night at the radio. The guy looked really mature and motivated to become a real person. Okay. Yeah, a great point, Alexandre. Um, you know, he works this year on to become a two way player, uh, Alexandre. He wants to change his game. Like, he, he, he's really a good at, uh, offensive forward, but he wants to learn more to the defensive. He had three things he needs to like, get better. The motto request him uh, improve his power skating. Right, like anybody else, anyway. But you want him to learn a bit more his defensive zone coverage and a little bit more physical uh, during his game. So that would be three things about this. Uh, Julien Gilles, uh, I'm, I'm in Montmagny, Quebec. Uh, Julien Gilles, Bilibo. Salut, mon Julien. Comment tu vas? Montmagny, très belle région de la belle province de Quebec. Uh, Montmagny, guys. Uh, uh, if you have a chance to visit Quebec, I will ask you to go to Montmagny. Les Chutes de Montmagny, if I can record it. Uh, Joshua Roy is better I thought is on my near. I'm in the show board. I will go see him a few games. Uh, yeah, uh, Joshua uh, did very well for the year. But again, guys, just like, exp like if you think about what he did at the August and what he did this year at the World Junior Championship for the third line to the first line. And, uh, you know, uh, Connor Bedal at Exprim, uh, how he said uh, what he liked for Roy, it was his intelligence. Uh, as a hockey player, he said, look, the guy can see the eyes very well, and he's a good hockey player. So um, great to hear that from Connor Bedard about him. Pincourt, uh, dans la région de Québec. Pincourt, Pincourt, Pincourt. Merci beaucoup, mon Gary. Uh, where are you from? I was in Québec. J'étais né um, dans la région de Shawinigan, mon Julien. Um, après, j'ai déménagé à Louisville et Trois-Vières. Saint-Thérèse, Mascouche. 
Mascouche was my last city in Quebec. Then I went to uh, Roanoke, Virginia. Uh, I went to Vermont, Virginia, South Carolina. Uh, Mississippi, Texas, Arizona, Colorado, and Florida. That's the oldest state I leave uh, my time of 20 years in the USA. <laughs> Every couple of years, I move the state to the state there. Des quand d'autres laisse, mon vieux Martin, là, hier, yes, Cliff, uh, we pay un point behind Dallas, uh, le club, uh, le, le chien de sel, Joshua was uh, still at the fifth round. Bonsoir, Québec, uh, je ma mère is from Vermont. Uh, really? That's awesome. Il a dit une chose funny aussi, que c'était dur de jouer de joueur avec Bellard à cause il mélange l'autre équipe, mais c'est facile aussi de mélanger même en étant que son équipe. Uh, à ça, you're welcome, Julien. So we're we'll going around the league one more time. 0-0, guys. Uh, Vegas, uh, power play for the Kings. Uh, the Colorado Avalanche, uh, Edmonton, order 0-0. The game 10 30 is going to be Boston Bowling against the Sharks tonight. Joshua, remind me. Uh, Brennan Point uh, and Rabinoff. Uh, uh, I try to say yes and no. I don't think so. I will tell you why. I think Point is more explosive. Brennan Point, I, a better skater. a really fast. Maybe a bit more shifty. Um, um I know I'm going to be lost when I'm going to say that, but I feel like he's more like the... the but it's, I will say to you one thing, okay? His speed is like Tyler to 40 for the Montreal Canadian, ex-Montreal Canadian. So his speed is average. He's not like a great fast skater. It's more like to 40. But he is a smarter player at to 40. Um, when I said that, yeah, I think he, a, you know, he can pass the puck more at at 240. So I cannot compare to him, but I would I would say I like his speed is a little bit like Tyler 240. Nothing wrong. It's just like he's not like a an explosive uh with a puck like anybody else. Um I don't know I could be wrong here. Um if you want to compare to Brendan Point I would say no but look about GT Miller I think or Vincent uh, Trocek is more faster. I think Miller could be a one I would compare to him a little bit. Brandon Point. Yeah, I don't see that. Uh, William, thanks so much for that one over there. Uh, Kev, I wonder what would have been with this year's draft. Uh, um, first round pick, uh, Kev. All time, Pierre Martin Point is one of my favorite all time right now. As Jordan Zume, I think we missed uh, the boat on him. He is uh, already signed by a blue jacket. He's already good prospect. Um, that would be a good interesting thing about J Jason Zume. Did not make Team Canada. Uh, he's not a big defense. He's not a big forward. Like he's not like a big big forward. Now he's a really good talented player. So Montreal could select him at ninety six. I believe with ninety five. Uh, but they, they go with uh, Armstrong. Yes, they maybe make him miss him, but it will happen sometime in NHL, right? And um, yeah, but I'm not sure how he can carry on this in NHL one day. And what he was born two months earlier, he will be in this year draft. Uh, yep, yeah, actually, I agree with you, Alexander, about Joshua. Friend, always and position. Great point about uh, about this. Uh, thanks so much, William Snyder, uh, about that comment. Uh, Do 
The Met is a 2004, by the way. He's only 5'9". Yeah, so I, I was all right about this. He was draft by Columbus, 96, guys, like I said. And the Montreal Canadiens select Adam Engstrom, um, 95. So, yeah, I'm sorry about this. So, I am always love to remember those draft numbers. And I really love number, guys. Like, uh, um, I think for me, it's really important to know which, who draft them, uh, what he looked like, what the size of the players, and what is the pick of the each team, everything like that. It's just to read more and watching those numbers, and, you know, that's what you have to do about this. I'm sorry if I say a good player, but this kind of talent so late, and the draft is rare. Yeah, um... I think for me, because he's only 5'9", and, uh, you know, like, skate-wide is okay, not great. Um, you know, like, he's almost the same size like Philip Mazar. Now, he produces more the point as Mazar, but the speed and the way shifty is Philip Mazar, a bit better to judge. You, you never know, right? Uh, and the future, what he look like, uh, but he's going to be a good prospect for this uh, organization a long term. Uh, to get that one, uh, and Erod Evan Rodriguez is getting tonight. Um, Evan Rodriguez, William, talk about Evan Rodriguez, number nine. Uh, some kind of problem, you know, uh, very interesting player for them. Now, the Canada Valencia comfort, I have to go back on the bench. Uh, they have a broken helmet. Uh, now, Comfort is out. Uh, but the guy is back on the, on the ice. Anyhow, guys, I think we're going to get out here. It's 10, 10.30 tonight. Uh, I think we did pretty good. Good night, coach. Uh, great show. Thanks so much, Mr. N. Rabinav. Don't come back. Uh, don't forget to come back tomorrow morning or tomorrow night or next Monday night. Uh, a funny one for you, coach. Uh, if you were a GM, would you uh, would you uh, use uh, Rob you Blaine because you are a number of guys? Uh, uh, would I uh, use Rob uh, you Blaine because you are a number of guys? Uh, when I said number of guys, it's like uh, we need to get healthy, uh, William. Yeah, I'm sorry about this, uh, uh, William. When I said uh, the number for me, you know, and then the six stuff, like, you know, like when you go older and you sit right now, like I would sit on the balcony looking for the ocean, the water, and then, uh, you know, listening hockey or listening just relax a little bit new music and then you reflect on your life and you're thinking what I would like to be what I'm missing what what kind of life I would like to change you know I always said you know you should never have regrets in your life but you know if I would like to start a new career and I miss a lot of opportunities in my life and uh but that's what we at at our age right we most of you guys are my age or older or younger, but uh, we become more wise, wiser, more wisdom. But uh, yeah, like if I was to do it, what what I would like to do? A coach. We like to be another video coach. We like to be an analytic guy. Uh, we like to be uh, behind the mic. You know what I mean? Like, would you like to learn your English better? Or yeah, and a lot of no regrets. But um, um, it is what it is, right? And, um, but, yeah, <laughs> um, is that we never know what size does not, but going to say it is on the ice with Caulfield on the bench with Sandwich. Yep, yep, so right about this, uh, we need to get it there. Good night, Mr. Gary. Uh, again, thanks so much from Pincourt. Uh, yep, they were saying about the Canadian. Yeah, I'm sorry, Pierre Martin. 
Uh, so, uh, uh, guys, I think we'll be done for tonight. We appreciate everybody to be a part of the show tonight. Uh, and uh, we will look forward to seeing you next time. Pierre, good yard and the, what you love the most. Uh, yeah, sorry, Pierre, my thing was well said. That would be the end of the world, uh, end of the best statement of the night. Uh, Yeah, absolutely, Pierre Martin. Great to talk to you like that way over there. I feel you absolutely. Uh, whatever you do in life, go get your passion and deep diving. Strive for excellence uh, and everything is possible with working hard, work ethic, and consistency. And never compare yourself with anybody. Just be who you are. Be you and find a way to dominate your day. But most of them become the best version of yourself. On that one, you are awesome. awesome. You are amazing. You are the best. And remember, you have greatness inside of you. Thanks so much, William McClary. Very kind of you. And uh, like I said before, guys, uh, look, this channel is only great because each one of you, if you are a member, if you are a supporter, If you are a moderator, if you are a co-host, whatever you are and you're always here, uh, I can tell you that it's because each one of you make that channel better every single day. Until the next time, guys, uh, we wish you an amazing, great rest of the night and sweet dream. And of course, the rest of your weekend. And be well, be hell. Find a way not only to dominate your day, but find a way to dominate your year 2023. It's still now time to looking for your goal. It's still time to figure out what you like to do in your life. When you think, oh, I'm, no, I'm too old or I don't have this. It's not because of this. No, guys, you're never too old to start something new in your life. Go get something you want happiness. Go find something you're passionate about this. Go get something you will have to change your rest of your life. Maximize your rest of your life. Life is short. And try to impact someone. Try to helping someone. Make this with care we serve with help and the most of the thing with love until my next time five an amazing great night because i love each one of you have a great night everybody thank you william william thanks so much thank you luciano again have a good night everybody Bien sûr, mon Alexandre. Thank you, RJ. Bonne nuit, mon boss, flower. We have so many good people here, guys. Absolutely right, William. Oh, 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 oh. Are you ready? Booyah!